finally ready to go. The College World Series in Omaha. From the plays that leave you in awe. Are you kidding me? To the moments that define a season. The wall and Watch all the tradition and high stakes action from Omaha. Don't you know, baby, the Men's College World Series, presented by Capital One, begins Friday at 2 Eastern on ESPN and ESPN+. Plus. Coming up Wednesday, Nikola Jokic is the finals MVP. But is he the best player in the NBA right now? Wait until you hear my top five list. Keyshawn, J. Will and Max, 6 a.m. Eastern, right here on ESPN Radio, ESPN2, ESPN2. Winston and Canty and Carlin, the Nuggets are champions, but is their blueprint one other teams can replicate? And the season over means NBA summer begins. Who will land Damian Lillard? It's Wednesday, Canty and Carlin, 3 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. They liked Bill as a basketball player. They just didn't agree with his views off the court. They would blame it on the length of my hair. They would blame it on who I voted for. I vote in every election. I express my feelings. I'm an engaged citizen. I'm part of a team. What is more mainstream than that? 30 for 30 presents The Luckiest Guy in the World. Episodes 3 and 4, Tuesday at 8 Eastern on ESPN. Streaming same night on ESPN+. Plus. How are you? My name is Scott Van Pelt, host of SV Pod. SV Pod. Along with my partner in crime, Stanford Steve. What do we talk about mostly on the podcast, Steve? Sports. Some. Parenting. I feel like that comes up a lot. I feel like most recently I've needed some help because I feel like my shortcomings there are evident. It's life stuff, you know, relatable content. It's fun. It's just two bald-headed goons just talking about nonsense a lot. In a crowded podcast space, uh, there's that one. We're here. Here we are. Sports Center all night. The Golden Knights try to bring home the Stanley Cup in Game Five. The waffle and goes into the goal. It's a hat trick in the clincher. Drama at Mini Camp in Buffalo. Yeah, very concerned. I'm not going to get into and listen. I respect everyone's everyone's questions and what they want to know about our team. Right now, I'm just I'm not going to get into into that anymore. PGA and Liv get ready to tee off at the U.S. Open. The more chaotic things get, the easier it gets for me. Everything starts to slow down, and um, I'm able to focus on whatever I need to focus on while everybody else is dealing with distractions, worrying about other things. The Subway Series is underway in Queens. I haven't done anything different all year. I have sweat and rosin. Like, I don't know what else to say. Um, nothing changed, and it's just I think the process is so arbitrary. This is Sports Center all night. And all played umpire Trip Gibson was making a list and checking it twice. Yes, he was. He knew who was naughty or nice. Here's Jay Reynolds. We're on that second list. Sports Center all night, ESPN Radio, the ESPN app, Sirius XM, Channel 80. It was Monday that a team from South Florida was facing a must-win game five on the road, trailing their championship series 3-1. That was the Miami Heat. Tuesday, another team from South Florida was facing a must-win game five on the road, trailing their championship series 3-1. Panthers skating in Vegas, trying to get the series back to Florida. But the Golden Knights would score a couple of goals in the first period and take a 2-0 lead to the second. Panthers get on the scoreboard early in the second period, but midway through that period, Vegas would have a rather loud answer. Steal at center as Eichel lifted a stick. The free puck to Petrangelo in his own zone. Stretch pass. Eichel is in with a cutter. Third man, Martinez scores. Martinez, 3-1 Golden Knights, 9.32 to go, second period, second goal of the Stanley Cup final for Alec Martinez, and the fourth in his Stanley Cup final career. Petrangelo, forward pass, connects with Stevenson, charges into the zone, drop back for Howden, extra pass, Stone shooting, he scores! Two goals for Stone Cold Steve Austin, 
Vegas would score twice in the span of a couple of minutes midway through the second, ultimately score four goals in that second period, the second half of that second period. They would take a 6-1 lead to the third, extend the lead to 7-1 before the Panthers get a couple of quick goals, pulling back within 7-3 midway through the third. We get to crunch time, and the Panthers pull the goalie trying to continue the comeback, and it would just turn into some long-range peppering of the goal. Nice leading 7 to 3, 643 left in the game. First uh, Florida faceoff win across to the right of her Hagee drive blocked. Picked up by Stone. Hits the right post from 160 feet away. And they are going to call ice. The Panthers will get an ozone draw. Knights get another try, but miss wide left. Right from the draw, it will be another ice. They just take a target practice here. That's a few times they've tried for the empty net. Well, that was Stone again. That was it, Mark. That was your chance. <laughs> well, the other one hit the post. I know. <laughs> That's when he had more room. Face off far circle to the right of Hill. Panthers win it this time. Then it looking cross eye. Stone intercepts. This time he sends it down. And a walk ball. And go into the goal. It's a hat trick. And the clincher, Mark Stone, the captain, makes it 8 3 Golden Knights with six minutes to go in the third period. Sending the Knights to what will be a Stanley Cup championship. It would be a 9 3 route for Vegas, and they get to skate the cup. Fox Sports 98 9. 9 3, the final nine goals scored by Vegas, the most in a Stanley Cup clincher all time. The six-goal margin of victory is the second largest in a cup clincher all time behind the Penguins in 1991 when they beat the Minnesota North Stars 8-0. Golden Knights had 13 different players with a point in this one, including Mark Stone, who had the hat trick, as you heard. He chatted on SportsCenter with our Scott Van Pelt. There's an ad that's one of my favorites. It says something roughly along the lines of it weighs 35 pounds until you lift it. When you got your hands on the cup, mark that moment. What is it? What's it all about? What goes into that? It's an unbelievable feeling. You win. You play 82 games, play four rounds of playoffs. And there's only one team standing, and couldn't be couldn't be more excited to be be standing here with you know the 25, 30 guys that play for us this season, and coaching staff, management, ownership, you know the scouts, everybody, everybody in this organization played a key part in, in getting this win for us. So. It's unbelievable. You wear that C on your sweater, and it comes with a lot, right? And you have a, your, another back surgery, right? It's the end of January. And, I mean, I don't know. You tell me. I've never gone through that. When, when you're trying to get back out in the ice in February, I mean, do, do you even allow yourself to believe this moment can be? Well, I knew how good our team was, so... Um... That's why I put all the work in to, to get back on the ice with these guys. These are these are my best friends. These are the guys I I spend every day with, and uh, it's just it's just celebrating with these guys is unbelievable. Like you, you just can't put into words this the team that we have, the guys we have. Everybody just gels together to play. So it's pretty easy for all of us just put in the work and be ready to go. The the only drama mark at the end was where you're gonna find the net. You hit the post. And then you miss left. And I, I'm a pretty good lip reader. I can tell you, you said I hit a bleeping post. And then you bury, you bury the hat trick. In, in that moment, obviously, you know you're going to win the cup. What was that last few moments like after you, you know, got your third goal and you knew you were going to get the cup? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's, what's better because I never lived through a tense one. But to be able to take those last four or five minutes and soak it all in and, you know, just – Watch the clock tick down and celebrate with the guys on the on the bench. It was unbelievable. So I uh, can't say good enough about this organization. It's been been incredible since day one. Marge so wins the con smite, but really it could have been a number of players. It did the depth that you all have, everyone talks about it. Mark, for you guys, not just to win, but to win the way you won and to have such contributions from so many players, how satisfying is it not just to do it, but to do it the way you did? Oh man, we had somebody step it up every night, but that's we love playing for each other, right? Uh, 
everybody's got each other's backs. So it's always somebody different on a different day. A lot of guys could have could have obviously come away with it, but Marsh has so scored so many clutch goals for us in this playoff. He deserved it. I asked Jamal Murray last night from the Nuggets when they won the title what we, what he was going to do the rest of the night, and he basically told me it's none of your business. You're in a town that's built for it. It's only 830. I can't imagine what the rest of the night looks like, but with the boys and your families and all your people, what's the rest of this evening about to look like for your squad? <laughs> I mean, we're going to party. There's no doubt about that. Uh, you know, we got some guys who are pretty excited to get going. Um <laughs> Very excited. <laughs> Mark Stone's second career playoff hat trick, helping the Golden Knights to the Stanley Cup uh, clincher. Stone, third player in NHL history with a hat trick in a cup clinching win. Golden Knights skating the cup in Vegas on Tuesday. Sports Center all night, ESPN Radio. Quite the little narrative for Oakland on Tuesday. A's fans organizing what was being referred to as a reverse boycott. They wanted to pack the Coliseum, show their disdain for current ownership with many fans wearing green T-shirts that simply said sell on the front. But was what was supposed to be a rallying show of support took a bit of a hit because Tuesday was also the day that, speaking of Nevada, the Senate vo there voted to approve $380 million in public money for a Las Vegas ballpark for the athletics. So that long-planned reverse boycott? Well, the A's did draw nearly 28,000 to their game Tuesday. Putting that in perspective, that's 59% capacity for the Coliseum. That said, the A's average about 8,500. So Tuesday's turnout of nearly 28,000, more than triple their average attendance. Given all that, I should also mention the A's went into the game against the Rays. Hope you're sitting down with a six-game win streak. And in this game, they were tied in the eighth inning. The pitch to Carlos is swung on, bounce to third, and finally to his left by Paredes, and scoring is Mariano. The throw goes to first by Wanda Franco, the shortstop, and Perez is out, but the A's take a two-to-one lead. They take the lead on a ground out in the eighth, and an inning later, the A's have won it. emotion and with the unprecedented nature of the night the Oakland A's the raucous crowd behind these players tonight have beaten the Tampa Bay Rays by the final of 2-1 to 2-1 to the final for their 7th consecutive win that ties the A's for the longest win streak by any team who had a sub 200 win percentage entering the streak. They are tied with the 1895 Louisville Colonels. A's longest active win streak in Major League Baseball. Their longest win streak since winning seven straight in August of 2021. The A's weren't the only team taking a six-game win streak into Tuesday. Diamondbacks also looking for number seven in a row. Whoops. Davies with a pitch, swung on, blasted deep down the right field line, hooking towards the corner, but it's a fair ball, and it is long gone. A massive leadoff home run for Kyle Schwarber, and the Phillies are on the board first. It's one to nothing. Schwarber's 18th home run of the season. And a pitch. Swing and a drive deep right center field. Going back on it is Smith to the wall. He looks up and it's gone. And it bounces over the pool and into the stands. He was headed for splashdown, but he avoids the pool. But he'll take the homer, no doubt. It's his sixth of the year, and the Phillies lead it 7 to nothing. 7 nothing at that point. The Phillies win it 15 to 3. Sports Radio 94 WIP. Phillies 15 runs matching their season high second game this season with 15 runs and 20 hits. Diamondbacks fall just short of extending the win streak. They lose by a dozen. Sports Center all night, ESPN Radio. Steph is not here. Everybody else is here at the front time. How concerned are you about that? Oh, 
are very concerned. There's been a lot of speculation about Stefan Diggs being unhappy in Buffalo for weeks and maybe even months now. And all along, people have denied it. And Josh Allen said that they're working through some issues. So clearly, something is wrong in Buffalo. I think there's something else that's bothering Stefan Diggs that I feel like the Bills organization needs to address so they can move forward. Majority of NFL teams holding mandatory mini camps this week. Buffalo Bills among them. Monday, the team taking to the practice field without Stephon Diggs, Bills head coach Sean McDermott. Steph is not here. Everybody else is here at the current time. How concerned are you about that? Oh, very concerned. Yeah, very concerned. I'm not going to get into and listen. I respect everyone's everyone's questions and what they want to know about our team. Right now, I'm just I'm not going to get into into that anymore. So we'll talk about practice. Happy to do that. Happy to answer those questions, and we'll move forward from there. No specifics from head coach Sean McDermott, Bills quarterback Josh Allen, giving a little perspective when he weighed in. Oh, I know internally we're we're working on some things, um, not football related, but you know Steph, he's my guy. Excuse my, love him. He's he's a brother of mine. You know this does not work what we're doing here without him. You know we we, we wish he was in here today and was out there on the field with us, and that's that's not the case. But I've got his back no matter what. Josh Allen taking some of the responsibilities, saying there's things that I could do better to help out with this process and try and get him back here and be the Buffalo Bill that he's meant to be. ESPN insider Adam Schefter. There's been a lot of speculation about Stefan Diggs being unhappy in Buffalo for weeks and maybe even months now. And all along, people have denied it. But then, lo and behold, today, he's not present for the mandatory minicamp. Sean McDermott himself said he's very concerned about him not being there. And Josh Allen said that they're working through some issues. So clearly, something is wrong in Buffalo. Now, Stefan Diggs, according to his agent, Adisa Bakari, is in Buffalo, has been in Buffalo all week long, took a physical yesterday, was there the this morning sent home will be back tomorrow and in the words of his agent will be there for the entirety of the mini camp though he wasn't there today and so clearly there will be discussions and meetings tomorrow and the rest of the weekend for however long it takes for buffalo to work this out but there have to be discussions between stefan diggs sean mcdermott the general manager brandon bean and maybe even josh allen about whatever issues are bothering stefan diggs but clearly something is Bills will be back on the practice field Wednesday. What do you find at the top of the mountain? That's next. Sports Center All Night continues. It's ESPN Radio. Coming up Wednesday, the Nuggets are the favorites to win the title next year. But I'll tell you the one team we should all be paying attention to that no one is talking about. Keyshawn, J. Will and Max, 6 a.m. Eastern, right here on ESPN Radio, ESPN2, and ESPNU. This is Sports Center All Night on ESPN Radio. We're an Instacart family. Oh my goodness, we saved so much time with same day grocery delivery. So we joined Instacart Plus. And now we're saving more money. We get unlimited free delivery on orders over $35, 5% credit back on pickup, and a family account. So we can shop together in a shared cart and get everything we need, like toilet like paper. Ice cream. <laughs> Join Instacart Plus for family accounts, unlimited free delivery, and 5% credit back on pickup. Visit instacartplus.com to get two weeks free. Credit back excludes alcohol. Family accounts subject to availability. Additional terms apply. The Beaumont Children's Museum and Indorama Ventures invites anglers of all ages to join the second annual Fisherama Fishing Tournament on Saturday, July 29th at Port Natchez Park. Team registration is now open. The event's fundraising efforts will benefit steam education and recycling programs here in Southeast Texas. July 29th's tournament rules and registration can be found online at fisherama.net. BCM and Indorama are casting for the future and netting a better tomorrow. Total Wine and More has the best Father's Day gifts at the best prices. Can't wait till you get me this bourbon. These prices are amazing. Dad, at Total Wine and More, you'll always find what you love and love what you find. Drink responsibly. B21. Find top Father's Day gifts at great savings at Lowe's. Right now, get a Cobalt 24-volt brushless two-tool combo kit for just $149. Was $199. And buy one 24-volt battery starter kit. Get one select bear tool free. Lowe's knows Cobalt's tools are tough, reliable, and built to perform. Shop in-store or online today. Lowe's knows home improvement. Valve through 618. While supplies last, selection varies by location. 
The Venture X card from Capital One gives you premium travel benefits, perfect for seeing Taylor Swift The Eras Tour, presented by Capital One. Oh, I do love her. Earn five times miles on flights and 10 times miles on hotels through Capital One Travel. Enjoy your stay in Suite 13. Whoa, 13? That's Taylor's lucky number. The Venture X card from Capital One. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. Hi, this is Gail from Navy Federal Credit Union. How can I help you? Hey, Gail. I'm looking for a credit card that's good for a busy lifestyle. I've got the hookup. You can earn three times the points on dining and two times on fuel with our Go Rewards card. I-Y-K-Y-K. -Y -K. Do you mean if you know, you know? Is that what that means? We totally get it. Finance, that is. Learn more at NavyFederal.org. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Insured by NCUA. Office Depot Office Max has great deals on everything you need to succeed, like stylish furniture and chairs to keep you working comfortably, the latest tech to keep you organized and productive, calendars and planners to keep you on schedule, and cleaning supplies to keep your space spotless. It's the perfect time to stock up on the supplies you need to succeed from the office to your home and everywhere in between. Need it fast? No problem. Problem. Place your order at OfficeDepot.com and pick it up in just 20 minutes at your nearest Office Depot or Office Max store. Whether you're doing a dance to your favorite artist in the office parking lot, or being guided into Warrior One in the break room before your shift, whether you're running on your Peloton tread at your mom's house while she watches the baby, or counting your breaths on the subway, inhaling and long exhaling. Peloton is for all of us, wherever we are whenever we need it. Download the free Peloton app today. Peloton app available through free tier or paid subscription starting at $12.99 per month. My ride smells just right, just right, just right, just right. Y'all gotta try that for right, Bree's car. Just right, just right, just right, just right. Yeah. La, 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 la. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With us for 40 days of consistency, all over Bree's car clips right on your bed. Yeah, you yeah. know my car's my happy... Sports Center All Night continues with Jay Reynolds. Sports Center All Night presented by Progressive Insurance. Murray to the right, has Adebayo defending. Bounce pass to Jokic against Martin at the free throw line. Jokic puts it on the deck, drives and scores. Denver back in front. Drives, fades, fires, missed it. Rebound weak side, Bruce Brown puts it back up and in. Denver by one. No team in NBA history's waited longer. After 47 years, the Denver Nuggets are finally NBA champions. First title for the Denver Nuggets and more flowers for a guy who's already had a pair of MVP honors earlier on ESPN Radio, our Jason Fitz. Now we're talking about somebody that's going to come into next year with even more benefit of the doubt, even more of a Q rating, as they always like to say in our business, like even more of sort of a resonance with voters and with fans. People are going to pay more attention to the greatness we just saw through this run. This, that's why I think this is the beginning of another chapter for Jokic, because he already has the two MVPs. But you can't tell me next year he goes in and repeats the exact performance he had this year. He'll be the MVP because now he's got even more eyeballs every single night that will simply come in from the outset saying, my God, you can't stop the greatness of Jokic. Like it's just, it feels like his brand takes another step. Even if he doesn't give a damn about it, even if he cares more about living in Serbia with his horses, like his brand, when it comes to voters, fans attention in the nba is all going to take another step this year yeah you remember back to monday when in the wake of the nba championship celebration he was asked about the upcoming celebration in denver and Jokic responded by saying he just wanted to get back home espn's ramona shelburne we're trying to understand, like, who this guy is. Like, why aren't you more excited to win? Why do you just want to go home after winning the NBA championship? You know, I saw this photo and I go, you know, this was taken in 2000 when he was five years old. That's in the middle of the war in Serbia. The 10-year war where 140,000 people were killed. Earlier in his career, he spoke about that, of being in bomb shelters and, and growing up where there, there, it was dark at night and you couldn't turn any lights on. And it, it's, it's, we don't talk about that as much anymore. He doesn't talk about that as much anymore because we want to talk about basketball. But before the finals, people, you know, he had a quote where he says, basketball 
mouth, not my whole life. And people say, well, what? We're not used to that. We're not used to somebody saying something so blunt. But there's a reason why he has this perspective in life. It's that there's there's a lot that he's lived through in his life, that his family is so important that it's it, this is the, the country he comes from. And that's why he wants to get back there because basketball isn't his whole life. He's seen another side of life. And I think that's with that photo, when you really look at it, it is amazing that it's a Denver Nuggets sweatshirt. Meanwhile, they are still celebrating in Denver, feeling a mile high. But of course, being a mile high, it's breezy up there. And you know the old adage, it's windiest at the top of the mountain. Earlier on ESPN Radio, our Freddie Coleman says that is what the Nuggets are about to experience. They still have a very young core mm -hmm. in which their best players are not near 30 years of age. They're almost there, but they're not 30 and beyond. We're not looking at a window closing when it comes to the peak of their effectiveness. When you got Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray and Aaron Gordon, et cetera, et cetera, and you know they're going to add pieces as well right. when it comes to the basketball team because if you stay the same, everybody else is gunning for you because, right. you know, Golden State, they want their spot back. If the Clippers can stay healthy, we know what they can do. The Lakers believe they can win a championship. Phoenix has a new coaching staff. They're going to build around Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. Sacramento Kings, they're on the come up. Yeah. We don't know what's going to happen with the Memphis Grizzlies, but they got a lot of talent. The New Orleans Pelicans, that's a team that nobody wants to face in the playoff. And the Oklahoma City Thunder are maybe a lot closer to being a pain in the you-know-what than people want to realize. Now that they've done it and they've gone through it, there's still going to be naysayers out there. They'll say, all right, you did it once, but who did you play? And that's, how you make it back man. to back, all that stuff. But they have a title, and what does it mean to Jokic, ESPN, Tim Legler? We're now looking at a guy that went from a two-time MVP. It's great. We're trying to figure out where does this guy rank historically. Now, all of a sudden, you validate it with a championship, and you have the building blocks to win who knows how many going forward because I think they will be the favorite for the foreseeable future. You now have a guy that's already into that top 20 category, and who knows where it ends up by the time it's said and done. That's what this postseason run did for not only Nikola Jokic, but for the Denver Nuggets and for this group he is with, the expectations now off the charts, we could be talking about this team winning championships for the foreseeable future. See if they can run it back again next year. Sports Center All Night ESPN Radio. Back to baseball. Mets, Yankees, and talk about a short night of work as a relief pitcher. Mets reliever Drew Smith as he came to the mound and getting ready to deliver his warm up tosses. It was determined by the umpires that he had some sticky stuff. And whatever that was the product of, Smith has been tossed from this game without having thrown a pitch. They said uh, both of my hands were too sticky. We saw, obviously, you arguing back with them. Just what was your level of surprise in that moment? Uh, really surprised because I haven't done anything different all year. WCBS with the call. Mets fall to the Yankees. 7-6. Anthony Rizzo, leadoff, single on the team's five-run fourth. Straight ahead, championship night, TSPN Radio. Greedy. The fact that one of the central pieces feels so much bitterness toward it, it is tragic to me. Makes me feel terribly sad for you. Weekday mornings at 10 Eastern on ESPN Radio. Houston Methodist Hospital has always and will always invest in its people. As a leading healthcare organization, Houston Methodist recognizes that supporting its team is at the heart of providing unrivaled care. Houston Methodist Hospital is currently hiring for registered nurses and nurse leaders across specialties. Join Houston Methodist Hospital in the heart of innovation in the Texas Medical Center. To learn more and apply for a nurse job, text HMH to 45991. What if when you heard it's time to sell your car, you heard something happier like flowers, puppies, sunshine pie? At Echo Park Automotive, we've made it easy to sell your car, so it actually feels like flowers, puppies, sunshine pie. It feels so much like Flowers Puppies Sunshine Pie that you'll wonder why you didn't sell your car. I mean, Flowers Puppies Sunshine Pie at Echo Park months ago. See what your car is worth in seconds at echopark.com. The best cars at the best value from the best people. All to make you happier. Echopark.com. The Beaumont Children's Museum and Indorama Ventures invites anglers of all ages to join the second annual Fisherama Fishing Tournament on Saturday, July 29th at Port Natchez Park. Team registration is now open. The event's fundraising efforts will benefit steam education and recycling programs here in Southeast Texas. July 29th's tournament rules and registration can be found online at fisherama.net. BCM and Indorama are casting for the future and netting a better tomorrow. 
Find top Father's Day gifts at great savings at Lowe's. Right now, get a Cobalt 24-volt brushless two-tool combo kit for just $149. Was $199. And buy one 24-volt battery starter kit. Get one select bear tool free. Lowe's knows Cobalt's tools are tough, reliable, and built to perform. Shop in-store or online today. Lowe's knows home improvement. Valve through 618. While supplies last, selection varies by location. Wireless headphones. That'll be $200. I'll use my Capital One Quicksilver card. Now that's a hit. You used the Capital One Quicksilver card, which makes you the hero of every purchase. With Quicksilver, you earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase everywhere. I wanted running music, but unlimited 1.5% cash back is pretty heroic. Good instincts. Every hero needs a theme song. The Capital One Quicksilver card. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. Lowe's knows you need the right tools and equipment for all your projects, which makes it the perfect time for Craftsman Days. Right now, find savings on power tools, outdoor power equipment, and tool storage, along with garage door openers and organization, including shelving, totes, and more. Get what you need during Craftsman Days, happening now. Lowe's knows savings. Lowe's knows home improvement. Selection varies by location. As a kid, you knew you made it when you got invited to a birthday party at McDonald's. So, this June, Grimace is celebrating his birthday at McDonald's. Whoa. With a shake all his own. Yay. And inviting everyone to celebrate with him. Get Grimace's birthday shake with a Big Mac or 10-piece McNuggets when you order Grimace's birthday meal only at McDonald's. At participating McDonald's, for a limited time while supplies last. Houston Methodist Hospital has always and will always invest in its people. As a leading healthcare organization, Houston Methodist recognizes that supporting its team is at the heart of providing unrivaled care. Houston Methodist Hospital is currently hiring for registered nurses and nurse leaders across specialties. Join Houston Methodist Hospital in the heart of innovation in the Texas Medical Center. To learn more and apply for a nurse job, text HMH to 45991. You know, foundation repair is an unregulated industry. Because of that, there is a lot of fly-by-nights in the industry. Well, if you want your foundation done right by a company who's been in business since 1978, you need to call Due West Foundation Repair. Yeah, you've heard of them, Due West Foundation Repair. When you want the best, you call Due West, 713-473-7156. You can also check out our website at du-west.com. All right, ladies, you got to get a gift for your man, and you will often ask, what bourbon should I get him? What cigar should I get him? Well, here's what he's going to love, and you're going to love how good he looks. It's called Treadwell, T-R-E-A-D, Treadwell Grooming and Wellness. They're going to take care of his hair, his nails if they want it. They'll do a hot lather shave. They'll cut his hair and make it look good. they got wellness to make him feel better. Look, he's not going to the salon with you all day, but he'll take better care of himself because you're going to get him a gift. Treadwell, look it up. It's time for the music that's trending on TuneIn. Popular by The weekend. Now playing on Pop Hits. It's hit music, baby. Day. And Lord Stanley's Cup is skated Tuesday in the desert. Birdman Martinez scores! Alex Martinez, 3-1 Golden Knights. Stone intercepts. This time he sends it down. It'll walk ball. They're going into the goal. It's a hot trick. And the puncher, Mark Stone, the captain, makes it 8-3 Golden Knights. The Vegas Golden Knights win the Stanley Cup in 2023. The first Stanley Cup championship in Golden Knights history. Fox Sports 98.9, the Vegas Golden Knights came into the NHL in 2017, six years ago, as an expansion franchise. It was at that point their owner, Bill Foley, said his plan was to win the Stanley Cup in six years. Prophecy fulfilled. Vegas blows out the Panthers 9-3 in Game 5 of the Stanley Cup Final to win the series and capture their first title Vegas Golden Knights becoming the seventh franchise in NHL history to require six seasons or fewer to win their first Stanley Cup. Jonathan Marcheseau wins the Conn Smythe as the playoff MVP. He spoke with TNT. Jonathan Marcheseau, congratulations on original six misfit. I imagine the vibes are a lot different now than they were 
in 2018? Yeah, it was. Uh, we waited a long time for that moment to come back, and uh, we want to make sure that we uh, we cashed in that time. And I couldn't be more proud of our team, our organization. We've, we've grinded for a few years, and uh, I mean, it's just an unbelievable feeling right now. How would you describe the feeling of the pain of defeat in 2018 to now winning it all and achieving a lifelong dream? You know what, that's the pain that you, you can describe too, and that's the feeling that we have right now. It's hard to describe. I mean, that pain was, uh, it was tough, to be honest. It took me almost a couple of months, a full year to get over it, and uh, it was just so close, but so far. And I mean, that time around, I, I just took, took a different approach, and look at where we are right now. The team has been unbelievable since the beginning, and uh, uh, we're, we're, we're winners. What is it about you that makes you so clutch in big moments? I mean, 10 of your 13 goals this postseason either tied the game or gave Vegas the lead. What is it about you that makes you shine when the, when the spotlight is the biggest? Uh, it's one of those things that I just, uh, you know, one night is one guy, one night is another guy. That's that's the mentality we have this year. Just next man in has to do the job. And we're a bunch of good teammates in our locker room. And, uh, we're always happy for each other, and honestly, everybody stepped up at different times, and that's why today we're winners. How are you guys going to party and celebrate? Well, I might not go to bed for a few days here. Jonathan Marcheseau so led the Golden Knights with 13 goals, second with 25 points during the playoff run. He ends the postseason on a 10-game point streak, longest streak in Golden Knights franchise history. Vegas, of course, went to the final in its first season, but lost. They win this time around. Marcheseau so one of six original Knights players left from the start of the expansion year in 2017. He was among those who got to skate the cup on their home ice on Tuesday. ESPN Steve Levy was there in Las Vegas. It's very fair. Barely making it into the postseason, going through a magical run, beating teams who have no business beating, like what Florida did in that first round, down three games to one, game five in Boston and scoring in the last minute before scoring in overtime and seemingly never looking back. So uh, I think it's very fitting. They ran out of gas. And, and to give full marks to Vegas, ran into a machine. And for all the talk about Matthew Kachuk, and, you know, Vegas uh, did not have to deal with Florida's best player in the last couple of games. And, you know, you could make the argument that the biggest play of this final is is Keaton Colasar, who had the big hit in game three that injured Kachuk. We understand now it's a sternum injury. Couldn't even dress tonight's game. So that, that was a key, but but even Matthew Kachuk would not have made a difference here tonight. Vegas is the superior club, Scott. And I, I really don't remember a team from top to bottom, four lines, six defensemen, so much discussion about four or five guys who could have won the con smite that speaks to the depth and, oh, by the way, playing with their fifth string goalie and winning the Stanley Cup in Eden Hill. It's remarkable. It's out, it's it's astounding. Marcia so gets it in the end. I felt like it had to be Marcia so. What did you think? I'm good with Marcia so too. And listen, you know this, but maybe all sports fans don't. The Con Smythe is for all four rounds. It's not like the NBA Finals MVP or the MVP of the Super Bowl. It's for the entire playoff run. And Marcia so actually got off to a slow start. He didn't score in the first seven games and then has seemingly scored yeah, <laughs> in each and every game. And, Scott, he is one of those guys that is one of these so-called misfits, and it's a really cool story. Six guys are still around from the expansion draft, and a, a real nod to Bruce Cassidy, a coach. His friends call him Butch. He gets it. Scott, he started five of the six misfits, and they're not normal line mates tonight. They're not defensive partners. And only William Carrier of the six didn't start because – He's not a goalie, but otherwise, so Cassidy gets it. His story's pretty good, too, getting booted out of Boston a year ago. And so uh, what a story here. I did see a sign in the crowd. It says, we've waited six long years. <laughs> not a lot of sympathy, right? Yeah. What has it become as a hockey city that gets it, that appreciate it, that's about it? How would you describe Vegas as a hockey town? Well, the buzz was tremendous here, really, you know, since these playoffs started. The home ice advantage is real. I think we all know about the pregame theatrics here. Right. But it, but it is different, Scott. When the Raiders go on and when they win a Super Bowl here and everything. <laughs> well uh, done. That'll be, that'll be different, right, because the Raiders come from someplace else. I think Vegas feels this sense of 
the Golden Knights are their own team. Uh, they were born here from the very beginning. All the history they have is only Las Vegas. And look, you couldn't have imagined this 10 years ago, I right? Agree. And then all right, the NHL dips their toe in. Here's the NFL. We know the A's are coming. The NBA can't be far behind. And oh, by the way, you know what? They just won the toughest trophy in sports. So in a town that, that loves a party and loves an event, you know, what's that parade with the Stanley Cup going to be like going down the strip in front of the Bellagio Fountains? Uh, uh, there, look, it's, it's a place to be, as you know. ESPN Steve Levy in Las Vegas on championship night as the Golden Knights skate the Cup. Vegas celebrating a Stanley Cup championship. Meanwhile, in Ottawa, the Senators are being sold. It's a reported record deal for a billion. Rangers, meanwhile, hiring a new coach. Peter Laviolette is the new coach. He replaces Gerard Gallant out after the first round playoff exit this year. Laviolette won the Stanley Cup with Carolina in 2006. He's taken two others to the final spent uh, the past three seasons coaching the Washington Capitals. Sports Center all night, ESPN Radio. Congratulations. You are the 2023 NBA champions. All the sacrifice, all the dedication, all culminated with us winning a championship. But I got news for everybody out there. We're not satisfied. We won. We won more. Vegas winning the Stanley Cup on Tuesday. Monday, it was the Nuggets capturing the Larry O'Brien, picking up their first NBA title. They, too, beat a team from South Florida. Earlier on ESPN Radio, Vic Lombardi from Altitude TV. It speaks volumes to patience and diligence and an organization allowing talent to be cultivated. The best way to cultivate young talent is to keep it together and keep things the same, especially if you get closer and you get better. If you look at Michael Malone's resume, every year the team got better. Every year, just a little bit better, a little bit better. Started getting close to the playoffs, then in the playoffs, then winning around in the playoffs. And then Jamal Murray gets hurt, and the wheels are off the track, obviously. But then they started over, and here they are again. And the Nuggets do it with Nikola Jokic at the center, but he's also a guy who, after winning the title, was just ready to head home. Nikola is so different than any superstar I've ever come across. I mean, and, and we've seen them all come through town. Peyton Manning still lives here. He's the kind of superstar that just the spotlight's not necessary. You heard him last night. Okay, mm -hmm. we win. Now we go home. He, he wants to go back to Sambor and hang out in his stable <laughs> and be on his trotter horse and just enjoy life. This is not the end all for him. It's not. And I think that's a big reason. We were talking before the game. I said, you watch. There's going to be one guy tonight, and they're going to be tight. They're going to be nervous. It's that nervous energy. You saw it in the jump shots. They weren't falling. But one guy doesn't get tight because the game, he has a, the ability to keep it at its distance. And that's Nikola Jokic, who was 12 or 16. One of those shots he missed was a three-quarter heave. So his shot selection, his ability to keep things in check, it's really it's something I've never seen before. Jokic and the Nuggets now have a title. How about moving forward? Where's the pressure line now? To the guys at PTI. All right, Wilbon, with Jokic's title, which NBA player is now under the most pressure to win a championship? Ooh. Tony, I, I like this question. I, there are a few players I'm going to mention. And they're, they're players who are entering their primes, maybe not there yet, not really there, but great players, like Luka Doncic, okay, who's been on the short list for MVP. We don't know what's going to happen with John Moran's career, but great player. Devin Booker, great player. Been to the finals, hasn't won. And then there are older guys who have been close, conference finals or finals twice, Jimmy Butler, Dame Lillard, conference finals once. There's guys, Tony, for whom the train seems to have left the station, although they're going to the Hall of Fame on the first battle. Harden, Westbrook, Chris Paul, Hall of Fame, no argument. And then there's Joel Embiid, who's got an MVP now and hadn't been to the conference finals. And to me, the number one guy on this list, the number one guy is Jason Tatum. Been to the finals. You know, Jimmy Butler's been twice as many times, but Jason Tatum is the number one guy on the clock to me. Yeah, so this is an interesting question because it's sort of like who's the best golfer to never win a major. Right. And it depends yeah. on how old they are and what they've done and this, that, and the other thing. And you named 100 people, and I'm with you on all of those names. I would have named, I would have thrown Paul George in there too because he's had okay, a lot of publicity fair, over fair, a lot of years. Fair, good name. So I would have yep. thrown him in. So my feeling is, first of all, that Jokic would not have been on that list because he never, they, Denver had never gone anywhere. You know, they never no got anywhere. Yet. Right. So no to me, 
there are three people that stand out. You have, of course, named them all. They stand out. Joel Embiid, to justify this MVP, you know, that I, as we know, you and I go back and forth, I would not have voted for him. Doncic, because he's the best all-around player in basketball, and he seems this year with Kyrie Irving there to have regressed a little bit, and that's a bad sign. And Jason Tatum, because he's on a championship-quality team, and he has been to the finals and lost in the finals, then lost this year to Miami. So those are the three that stick yeah. out for me as, yeah. as the ones with the most pressure on them. And, Tony, of, the, of those guys, the one that enters on a team – that's going to be expected most of is probably again Tatum, although Booker, Booker and Kevin Durant start out a season. We don't know who else is going to be on that roster, but those no, two guys are going to be in the spotlight. That's it. We're done. Back to you. NBA draft coming up also next week. You'll hear it here on ESPN Radio Sports Center all night. Back to baseball. Dodgers. Starting rather quickly against the White Sox. The 3-1 Smith with a high fly ball to left field. Way back there, and it is gone. We told you Lance Lynn has given up the gopher ball this year. That was his 17th home run he has served up. For Will Smith, his 10th home run of the year. It didn't take very long for the Dodgers to take a 2 to nothing lead. Short lead for Hayward at first. And there's a high fly ball to center field. Racing on back is Robert to the wall. It's on its way, and it's gone! A home run! David Peralta, the Dodgers' second two home run, two run home run of the first inning. It is four to nothing. Dodgers would go on to win it five to one. Charlie Steiner, AM five seventy LA Sports. White Sox have lost seven of their last eight games against the Dodgers. Lance Lynn, two homers allowed, eighteen given up this season. Time for the most in Major League Baseball. Giants pulling away from the Cardinals in their game. Cabrera, a high set. He throws. And Yastrzemski swings. Drives one out to deep left field. Walker getting turned around. He's at the warning track. At the wall. It's gone. Mike Yastrzemski, an opposite field. Two-run home run. And it's 8-2 to two Giants. Now it's Patrick Bailey. He swings. Lines one out to deep left. Way back. And that ball is gone. On. on consecutive pitches, the Giants hit back-to-back -back home runs. Make it 9-2. to 11-3 to would be the final. Giants beating the Cardinals. KNBR with the call for the Giants. First time winning multiple series against the Cardinals in a season since 2011. Padres double up the Guardians. 6-3. to three. Angels a 7-3 win over the Rangers. Angels have won eight of their last nine games. They're a season-high seven games. Over 500, Shohei Otani, two for two with three walks and a stolen base. First player with 20 homers and 10 stolen bases this season. Cubs put up double digits in their 11-3 win over the Pirates. Cubs have won six of their last seven against Pittsburgh, dating back to last season. He says he had to do it. That's next. Sports Center All Night continues. It's ESPN Radio. Coming up Wednesday, as Saquon Barkley and Josh Jacobs wait for new contracts, is it time for teams to start valuing running backs again? Keyshawn J. Willemax, 6 a.m. Eastern, ESPN Radio, ESPN2, and ESPNU. ESPN Radio, Sports Center all night. More next. Greeny. The fact that one of the central pieces feels so much bitterness toward it, it is tragic to me. Makes me feel terribly sad for you. Weekday mornings at 10 Eastern on ESPN Radio. June in Omaha is a celebration of college baseball. Finally ready to go. The College World Series in Omaha. From the plays that leave you in awe. Are you kidding me? To the moments that define a season. To the world. Watch all the tradition and high stakes action from Omaha. Know, baby, the Men's College World Series, presented by Capital One, begins Friday at 2 Eastern on ESPN and ESPN+. Plus. Caleb Williams is going to be the number one overall pick in this coming season. He has leverage to say to the NFL, no thanks. Not to the whole league, but to whoever is there who might want to draft. Check out the Dominique Foxworth Show anywhere you get your podcast. 
Sunday. It's race day here in Montreal. The rock stars of racing touch down in North America. Oh boy, are we excited for this. As Formula One rolls into Canada. Max Verstappen comes home in first place. Big delivery under big pressure. The Formula One Canadian Grand Prix. Coverage begins Sunday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern on ABC and ESPN+. Plus. ESPN coverage presented by Mercedes-Benz. Hi, I'm Jeremy Schaap, host of the podcast ESPN Daily. Every weekday morning, I'll bring you the best sports story you'll hear all day. Today on ESPN Daily, it was arguably the most consequential announcement in the history of golf. We still have more questions than answers. So Mark Schlebaugh takes us inside the PGA Tour's deal with Saudi power brokers and explains the root of the controversy. So follow us and listen wherever you get good podcasts. Yo, check this out from Canty and Carlin. There are always going to be championship expectations in New England. That's the standard that Bill Belichick has established, and I think he's going to fall victim to that standard because you're talking about this franchise four years since a playoff win. So if that doesn't change, then I think they transition Bill Belichick to full-time in the front office, and they have somebody new wearing a headset on the sidelines in 2024. Canty and Carlin, weekdays at 3 Eastern on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. It's NBA draft time. A once in a generation talent. Weaponyama throwing it down. Has an esteemed franchise looking to strike gold again. But you gotta go deep. With the 41st pick. Because you never know when you'll find a nugget. The Denver Nuggets select Nikola Jokic. It's a beautiful time for basketball. The NBA draft presented by State Farm. Thursday, June 22nd at 8 p.m. Eastern on ESPN and ABC. Sports Center All Night continues with Jay Reynolds. We're taking you to Key, Jay, and Max. 6 o'clock Eastern time here on ESPN Radio. The DP World Tour, Live Golf, PGA Tour all coming together. Some very upset players. I had one player tell me, why would we do this now? The Live Tour is dead in the water. It's not working, and now we're going to throw them a life jacket. The U.S. Open is here, but the focus continues to be on the golf landscape. PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan, in a letter to members of Congress, telling lawmakers the tour was essentially left on its own to fend off a Saudi invasion into golf. He says the tour was left to fend off the takeover bid because of the U.S. United States complex geopolitical alliance with Saudi Arabia. Three days after that letter to lawmakers, a Senate subcommittee opened a review. Monaghan, meanwhile, is recovering from an undisclosed medical situation. That, according to a joint statement released Tuesday night from Monaghan and the PGA Tour Policy Board, the 53-year-old Monaghan has been under intense scrutiny since the stunning announcement earlier this month that the PGA Tour was forming an alliance with the DP World Tour and Live Golf bankrolled by the Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund. Players didn't know about it. Guys like John Rahm said they were blindsided. It gets to a point where you want to have faith in management. I want to have faith that this is the best thing for all of us, but it's clear that that's not the, the consensus, right? I think the general feeling is that a lot of people feel a bit of betrayal from management. Uh, I understand why they had to keep it so secret. It's not easy as a player that's been involved, like many others, to wake up one day and see this bombshell, right? So that's where we're all in a bit of a state of limbo because we don't know what's going on, and I don't think how much is finalized and how much they can talk about either, right? So it's, uh, it's a state of uncertainty that we don't love. Then there's Brooks Kepka who says, live players were just as surprised. Yeah, I think there was because we didn't hear anything about it. That's kind of, I think, the one thing that shocked everybody the most. I think I ran into Ricky and JT about after watching the whole thing, and they were asked if they knew, and they said they didn't know either. So they were kind of learning about it. They were on the back of the range. So I probably saw them 30 minutes after the news broke. Still have to learn what the whole uh, landscape will look like as golf moves forward. Sports Center all night, ESPN Radio. As for the top sounds from Tuesday, let's say hello to Mark Robbins. 
number five. Hello there, Jay. We're going to begin our top sound with a grand blast from Gunnar Henderson of the Orioles. WBAL in Baltimore. Bases loaded, one out. Henderson swings a long drive out towards center field. Kiermaier backing up in front of the bullpen wall. He leaps, and it's a grand slam. Don't let Gunnar Henderson get hot. The kid has ripped this one wide open in the third. 387 feet for Gunnar Henderson and an 8-1 to one lead for the Orioles. Number four. In Chicago, the Cubs had some fun at the Pirates' expense on the Cubs radio network. And Morel cracks one in the air. Deep left field. Get out the tape measure. Long gone. In Minnesota, the Twins find the lost walk-off treasure. Beating the Brewers, as heard on the Treasure Island Baseball Network. And the 1-1, a blast to left field. Back it goes. Deep it goes. Twins win. Twins win. The Minnesota Twins win it. Carlos Correa off the ribbon board in left field. A game-ending, a game-winning two-run homer. And the Twins walk off Milwaukee 7-5. Number two. Game five of the Stanley Cup Finals and the Vegas Golden Knights were going to win as it was written in stone. Fox Sports 98.9. Into the right circle. Then it looking cross eye Stone intercepts. This time he sends it down. It'll walk off and go into the goal. It's a hat trick. And the puncher Mark Stone the captain makes it 8-3 Golden Knights with six minutes to go in the third period. Number one. And then the Golden Knights with the golden moment. Again, on Fox Sports 98.9 in Vegas. The Golden Knights are going to make that dream a reality. A devotion to destiny. Misfits to champions. The Vegas Golden Knights win the Stanley Cup in 2023. The first Stanley Cup championship in Golden Knights history comes in their sixth season. The Silver State is home to the greatest silver trophy in all of sports. Among the Golden Knights skating the cup, Jack Eichel. Jack, what were you feeling when you finally lifted the cup? I don't don't know. Uh, It's just an unbelievable feeling. Um, Relief. (laughs) It's, I mean, there's so many emotions going through uh, your body at that moment, and um, it's a really special feeling. Jack Eichel, 26 points this postseason, fifth most by an American-born player in a single postseason. It's the second pro sports title for Las Vegas in as many years. The Aces captured the WNBA title last season. It's Wednesday, June 14th, Flag Day. What's the red flag they're worried about in Buffalo? Can the Bills get past it? Much more this morning on Key J and Max. They're next. I'm Jay Reynolds. Back tomorrow with Sports Center all night. It's ESPN Radio. Coming up next, Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max on ESPN Radio and ESPN Two. FX's Mayans returns for the final season. I said I'd bleed for you. I meant it. Our enemies have finally shown some life. Experience the intensity of one last ride. They came to my house and threatened my family. We're done. No, just getting started. FX is Lions. The final season, all new Wednesdays on FX. Stream on Hulu. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? I think my battery's dead. With free battery testing and charging, AutoZone is here to help. What if I need a new one? We have the right batteries right here at America's number one battery destination. And what if I don't know how to connect it? No problem. We have a how-to for you at AutoZone.com. Restrictions apply. Wednesday, I'm Fitz and Harry. I knew it was cold in Buffalo, but in June, the latest on Diggs and the Bills. Plus, why another star quarterback is focused on his rival? Jimmy G? Hell no. Ah, Fitz and Harry. Wednesday, noon Eastern, ESPN Radio, and watch on the ESPN app. 
Sunday. It's race day here in Montreal. The rock stars of racing touchdown in North America. Oh boy, are we excited for this. As Formula One rolls into Canada. Max Verstappen comes home in first place. Big delivery under big pressure. The Formula One Canadian Grand Prix. Coverage begins Sunday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern on ABC and ESPN+. Plus. ESPN coverage presented by Mercedes-Benz. Greedy. The fact that one of the central pieces feels so much bitterness toward it, it is tragic to me. It makes me feel terribly sad for him. Weekday mornings at 10 Eastern on ESPN Radio. One of Major League Baseball's greatest rivalry. It's the real deal. It's Yankees, Red Sox, and Ken. New York. You cannot say enough good things about Stanton, Boston. Devers hammers this one to right. Looks at it, and the bats flip. Give us the rivalry. Sunday night baseball. Yankees, Red Sox. Sunday at 7 Eastern on ESPN. Presented by Casamigos Tequila. Canty and Carlin. Canty's such a kiss-ass. No, I'm a very smart guy. It's National Best Friends Day. Yes. And I was asked the question, who's my best friend? And I said my wife, Mel. Which is and you said that's a politically a, correct answer. It's I said that's it's the only It's married one year. Yeah, it's the only answer. It's the only answer. Yeah, I mean, I'm married my on. best friend. Yeah, give it time. We'll see. Well, say whatever you want. But and because, so, but, but what because did you it's do? National Best Friends Day, it's one of those obscure holidays that she's not expecting anything. So that's, she's going to get some flowers. That's lovely. While she's working. She's going to get some nice flowers, a nice bouquet, just to let her know that I'm thinking about her. This goes beyond just a text message or the call. This is making the rest of us look bad, is what it is. Well, doing. no, it's an investment in my marriage, is what it is. <laughs> but it feels a little, you know, I don't know, a little thirsty on your part. How is that thirsty? I just, I just, because it's little things like making the bed and things like that. That's where you score the make, real Making points. the bed? That's table stakes, though. That's nothing special. You make the bed every those day. little things, not everybody does. Not everybody does. Canty and Carlin, weekdays at 3 Eastern on ESPN Radio, the ESPN app, and on Sirius XM Channel 80. They liked Bill as a basketball player. They just didn't agree with his views off the court. They would blame it on the length of my hair. They would blame it on who I voted for. I vote in every election. I express my feelings. I'm an engaged citizen. I'm part of a team. What is more mainstream than that? 30 for 30 presents The Luckiest Guy in the World. Episodes 3 and 4, Tuesday at 8 Eastern on ESPN. Streaming same night on ESPN. This is Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max. Yeah, see, I don't think Jimmy Butler's a potato. And what I mean by that is bland. Like, I think the Joker, I know you basketball players, and you love his style, but he's a potato. And the potato might be the, the, the worst thing without something on it. Extra mayo for me, please. But Joker just a potato. You got to you gonna have to dress it up a lot of different If he's ways. a potato, he's like a truffle mashed potato. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> no, but Max, you put something on it. Yeah, yeah. But you yes. got something on it. Too much pop on it. Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max, ESPN Radio. We're presented by Progressive Insurance. Watching Nikola Jokic. Jump into the pool with uh, did, Jamal Murray. It did splash like a human size, like human sized potato just splash in the pool. You know the problem like, with Key. Another, another nice day in New York City. You see it on ESPN too. You know what the problem, Key, with the whole Jokic thing is? You know what happens if one person on this show says something? We all say. Now it. we all get splattered with it, right? So now people are gonna look at me like I'm anti Jokic. Can't believe you like call that. Jokic a potato, Jay. Yeah. I'm like, I, that's Key. Did they? Did that? Did that? Was that something that was going on? I mean. I wasn't saying that it was a bad thing. I'm just saying. This <laughs> hey, but by the way, when the headline is K- KJM calls Jokic, Jokic a, potato. a potato, it doesn't say, you know, context. It wasn't a bad thing. It was That's nobody's weird. ever going to think about that as a compliment. That's it. You know, it's an interesting thing that you say that because if you said something, I mean, you, you know, you'll own it and, and all of those sort of things. But I actually was saying it as just an expression about how you know it's just it's boring to me even though i like yes. it like i like potatoes i like it it's there you know i gotta put something on it because i if i just eat it without something 
then it's just like whatever. I mean, think about it. When we go to restaurants, we load up all sorts of stuff on it. We don't just say, hey, give us a potato because it's boring. And that's all I'm saying. Yes. We still order it. That's all I'm saying. I just want you to know, Keith, the, the words that pop are potato and boring. <laughs> Nothing else really that's pops from what you just said. said. <laughs> all the other and words so you am I the not only, So am I really the only person? Think about this, Jay, because I know I'm not. But I'm. Re- am I really the only person that thinks no matter how great he is in, in MVPs and championship now, that his style is a little sleepy? Am I the only person? Because I know I'm not. I know that for a fact. See, I no. like watching him play a lot. I, I find the great passers to be the most interesting guys to watch other than the guys who can do that and jump out the gym, right? But I like the, watching the great passers better than the great shooters, to tell you the truth, although he does both. Okay. I mean, l- l- stylistically, right, I- is it is it similar to, like I said, Embiid has more of a guard R&B style to him, mm-hmm. right? Like it, 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 it seems like it's more pleasurable. Like to the eye, if you're just a, uh, a, you know, a viewer of the game, you just want to see style. You're like, all right, like that style looks looks dope. You watch Jokic, it's unorthodox, right? It looks different. It I doesn't look like anybody else. Look I don't think either. one time since I've been watching him that he snatched the ball and he sweeped through. In B, I've seen him do that, Jay. Right? It's like a guard. Bam, yeah, sweep through. Yeah. I've seen him yank through, and I just like it's like okay. And Bede has has some little man skills in a big body and looks it. And Jokic, even though he has little man skills, it still looks like a big man doing it. But even when Jokic runs, he runs with his shoulders. Have you yeah, noticed, right? Very up it's and like down. It's, it's yeah. like, it's like he, instead of like the strides, like, you know, like how you see track athletes run, like Jokic runs with the shoulders first, like left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder. And like it, it's um, it's definitely its own unique style. Man. Everything's no, it going is. up and down, I, up and down. Look, if I had a chance to sign him and I was looking for that type of player, he'd be the first on the board. I mean, I'm not going to deny his, his ability to help me win a championship or nothing like that. It just... It just looks weird. Jay's already at the cup, right? He just It's like, come on, man. Dude. He's the king of the NBA right now. He's so he's number tall one and long. Like, when he goes to dunk, he gets off the ground this much. <laughs> right, Jay? I mean, barely there's, jump there's, on the curb, yeah? It, it's like, but, hey, that, that's a game that ages like fine wine, no key. No, I get it. It would be nice if he, could, if he could defend the rim. If he was a rim defender. Why do we always have to make him more? Because oh, we, I'm, not it, that, that, I'm not making him more at all. Even, even defensively, I'm, he's... He he looks bad at times on defense. Overall, he's not terrible on defense, but as a big, he's he does not give you rim protection. I That's mean, true. He he played pretty well in game five. Yeah, he, he's, I mean, he's, it's, man, like, he's, it's he's, like the dude just won a championship, and we're he's talking a, about the things yeah, he but doesn't you, but no do. One's perfect. I didn't talk about the things that he doesn't it, do. I mean, I'm talking about his style. It just when I watch it, I'm like, oh, okay, it's cool. So he, it, he it, are, would you rather? Cool. Would you? Okay, so like I ask myself these time type of questions. Would I rather have somebody whose style, I'm like, oh, that style is beautiful, but, like, we don't win? Or would I rather have somebody's style who I think is a little bit unorthodox, but I'd rather play with? I'd much rather have the latter all day Yo- long. Yeah, Jokic is the best player in the NBA. You want to win a championship and you can pick one guy, he gets you closest. I'm not worried about style, Key, as much as I'm worried about I'm, results. And, 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 and I'm the same way. When I play football, you know, I play with a bunch of quarterbacks, right? Everybody, oh, man, you ain't never had it. I'm good with the dude I got. Because the dude I got, he going to make sure I get the rock. I'm going to make sure he look good. I'm going to help my team win. Are you? Were, were you good with yeah. the dudes? Lies, lies, lies. I, I, I don't hear you say before, that constantly yeah. on this that show. Kind of self, <laughs> that kind of self-deception stops yeah. you from winning more Super Bowls. Stop. I feel like you just made that to, to frame your argument when that's not really how you feel. He, he, that your that quarterbacks were so good, you played with 17 different ones. You that know, wasn't 17. my fault. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying. So I if you play with better quarterbacks, you I play with me my instead job. of 17. That sounds like a winning culture. I did my job. I did my job, man. I did. Hey, I did my job. Can, I've never, I've wait. never been accused of not being a locker room guy, Jay. Never. Can, you, know the dude, you know the dudes like me coming to the locker room after the game. They got the stat sheet. They're like. Damn, I, 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 I had 24 and 13. Yeah, I didn't need to I, do that, I, Jay. I did my th- Jay, I didn't set it for themselves, Keith. No, I could, I know what I had in the game. I ain't even. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hey, look, I speak receiver. Uh, I yeah, speak I receiver. Know, yeah, fluently, yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had these many touches in the first quarter. Say, man, y'all got to give me the ball, dog. I had three touches. Y'all threw the ball to me four times. I, so, but anyway, all joking aside, I like him, like I said. And if I was looking for that type of player, he'd be the first of the board. But that type of player, like if if you have to 
order the players in the NBA, he's on top, right? And, and it's not on top right now the way, as I said yesterday, Dirk Nowitzki or maybe Kevin Garnett at one point or another they're in their careers for one season, you might say, man, that's the best player in the NBA because this was a build. Back-to-back -back MVPs, almost three in a row. Soon as his team gets healthy, championship, it ain't close. They're smoking everybody. But he answered the call, Max. And last year, we would have been having a conversation about who needs a championship the most. Yeah. You would have said Nikola Jokic, right? Yeah, he was up there. Oh, I don't yep. believe this back-to-back -back MVP. Is it really deserving? Is Denver really going to be that team? And they answered it. More than Denver be that team, you're absolutely right, Jay, that the back-to-back -back MVPs, the reason he didn't get three in a row, same with Giannis, right, is they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you're good in the regular season. If you were really as good as it looks in the regular season, you would have chipped up by now. So no one benefited more retroactively than a yeah. champ from a championship than Jokic. Now it just it, it, it legitimizes everything he's done. See, so, I don't think he got the he didn't get the third one, Max, because they were terrible down the stretch in the regular season. Yeah, they, that, they that, didn't, that didn't help. Team. Yeah, they, they weren't. I mean, they weren't great down the stretch. They were but also much more. Well, I also, use the word terrible, yeah. Jay, because of the way they finished. They finished strong. And so when you compare the two, that the way that they, you know, finished this regular season wasn't very good. It led a fire under Joel Embiid. I think there was a big backlash. Wait a minute. Giannis got two. Joker got two. Embiid has none. He could have gotten a couple of them. Embiid ducked them, though. Th then th he ducked, he them, ducked the he rubber ducked match, the but he beat him. He, he got him good. He got him the first in, time. In Philly. All right. So yes, now that Jokic that. has his, Embiid jumps to mind as the guy who would most benefit, like Embiid, is he a top five? Yeah, maybe he's top, maybe he's the fourth or the fifth best player. But if Embiid won a championship, given how well-rounded his skills are on both ends of the floor, if you talk all around center play, both ends of the floor, the most skillful guy, now you're talking Embiid all time in terms of skills on both ends and that at that size. If he won a championship, we would start saying, where is he on the all-time list? Who else is like that? In sports, you don't have to talk about basketball. In sports, Jason Tatum. I mean, Tatum's a great call. Jason Tatum has had some prolific games. I mean, this roster has been together for a, a pretty extensive time. We, I mean, how many times do we have this conversation about whether we're going to break Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown up? Or are they going to be together? I know Joe Mazzulla's first year as a head coach, but how many times this has this team gotten to the Eastern Conference Finals? We saw them get to the NBA Finals. Like, how does Jason Tatum get over the hump? I, it, it does feel like there's a lot of pressure on what they're doing, considering Jalen Brown made all NBA. He's going to get a super max deal. Are they going to give him the deal? Like, when are we going to see that result to them winning a championship? So, Michael Wilbon, we'll stay, stick in the NBA on PTI, of course. Uh, was talking about who's under the most pressure now to win an NBA title. Check this out. There are players who are entering their primes, maybe not there yet, not really there, but great players like Luka Doncic, okay, who's been on the short list for MVP. We don't know what's going to happen with John Moran's career, but great player. Devin Booker, great player, been to the finals, hasn't won. And then there are older guys who have been close, conference finals or finals twice, Jimmy Butler, Dame Lillard, conference finals once. There's guys, Tony, for whom the train seems to have left the station, although they're going to the Hall of Fame on the first battle. Harden. Westbrook, Chris Paul, Hall of Fame, no argument. And then there's Joel Embiid, who's got an MVP now and hadn't been to the conference finals. And to me, the number one guy on this list, the number one guy is Jason Tatum. Been to the finals. You know, Jimmy Butler's been twice as many times, but Jason Tatum is the number mm. one guy on the clock to me. Mm, great I disagree. Think I, I disagree great with you. You think, think he's more on the clock than Embiid? Yes. Think about so, Embiid has yet to be out of the second round. That's what I'm saying. Jason Tatum has been to the NBA finals and has came up empty. No, you're, you're not going to look at Embiid and, uh, sorry, Jason Tatum and say, man, if he chips up, he's going to be uh, better than KD or LeBron or something like that. But if Embiid chips up, we will start to look and go, wait a minute. He's had some of the greatest statistical seasons of all time. He's a monster rim defender, defender, period. He has a huge influence on the game on both ends. If he wins a championship, we start talking about where does Embiid rank all time? just like we're doing with Jokic now. You don't think that for Jason Tatum's infatuation with Kobe Bryant and cut from that cloth, if he were to become dominant and win the NBA, we would be talking about him as one of the best two-way guards in the league, one of the best wings in the league? I think we would, but I think we talk about him that way now. I do think, of course, it helps him, but I don't think we're starting to say, hey, how does Tatum stack up to 
uh, uh, well, he's not really a, a guard. He's like a fo- like he, we're not going to compare him to Kobe and MJ. We would say to KD or Larry Bird or one of the fo- scoring forwards. I don't think he'd be there yet. I think he'd have a lot more work to do. I think you're just recently hyped because Jokic won it. So now it's like, what's the response by Joel Embiid? But that doesn't that doesn't by any means diminish what Boston has been knocking on the door and can't get over the hump. All right, we. we We'll get more into this. Which NBA player needs the title the most after Jay has this from FanDuel? Make a fast break to FanDuel during the NBA playoffs. Because they're over. Because right now, new customers can get a no-sweat first bet up to $2,500. Visit FanDuel.com slash play and get a no-sweat first bet up to $2,500. FanDuel, official sports betting partner of the NBA. 21 plus in select states. First online real money wager only. $10 deposit required. Refund issued as non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire in 14 days. Restrictions apply. See full terms at fanduel.com slash sportsbook. FanDuel is offering online sports wagering in Kansas under an agreement with Kansas Star Casino, LLC. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit fanduel.com slash RG in Colorado, Iowa, Michigan, New Jersey, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Tennessee, and Virginia. 1-800-NEXT-STEP or text next step to 53342 in Arizona. 1-888-789- 7777 or visit ccpg.org slash chat in Connecticut. 1-800-9 with it in Indiana. 1-800-522-4700 or visit kesgamblinghelp.com in Kansas. 1-877-770-STOP in Louisiana. Gamblinghelplinema.org or call 1-800-327-5050 for 24-7 support in Massachusetts. Visit mdgamblinghelp.org in Maryland. 1-877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY 467-369 in New York. 1-800-522-4700 in Wyoming or visit 1-800-GAMBLER.NET in West Virginia. Houston Methodist Hospital has always and will always invest in its people. As a leading healthcare organization, Houston Methodist recognizes that supporting its team is at the heart of providing unrivaled care. Houston Methodist Hospital is currently hiring for registered nurses and nurse leaders across specialties. Join Houston Methodist Hospital in the heart of innovation, in the Texas Medical Center. To learn more and apply for a nurse job, text HMH to 45991. Do you love where you live? Do you have to drive by convenience stores with unsavory characters out front? Do you hear gunshots or, for that matter, train tracks? Do you hear loud noises? Do you feel safe? Do you hear sirens or sirens, as we say in orange, late at night or all day long? Because RepublicGrandRanch.com is a great place to call home. There are lots of reasons people call it home. 844-700-LAND. 844-700-LAND. The Beaumont Children's Museum and Indorama Ventures invites anglers of all ages to join the second annual Fisherama Fishing Tournament on Saturday, July 29th at Port Natchez Park. Team registration is now open. The event's fundraising efforts will benefit steam education and recycling programs here in Southeast Texas. July 29th's tournament rules and registration can be found online at fisherama.net. BCM and Indorama are casting for the future and netting a better tomorrow. The Venture X card from Capital One gives you premium travel benefits. Perfect for seeing Taylor Swift the Eras Tour. Presented by Capital One. Ooh, I do love her. Earn five times miles on flights and ten times miles on hotels through Capital One Travel. Enjoy your stay in Suite 13. Whoa, 13? That's Taylor's lucky number. The Venture X card from Capital One. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. We're recording this progressive commercial on a real boat to let people know that when you bundle your home, boat, and other vehicles... What was that, Flo? Progressive saves you money, Jamie. Why are we doing this on a boat? We were going for authenticity. We're going to the city? Authenticity. You mean Atlantic City? But we're not in the Atlantic. Are we? Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Discount not available in all states or situations. It's Macy's Father's Day sale. Take an extra 25% off great gifts for every dad with your coupon or Macy's card. Or shop Father's Day specials like 40 to 50% off classic styles from INC, Alfani, and more. 25 to 40% off activewear essentials from Adidas, Reebok, and more. And 40% off designer watches. Want more deals? Download the free Macy's app by saying, Alexa, open Macy's now. Savings off regular sale and clearance prices exclusions apply. Amplify your snacking at all of your summer get-togethers by offering up deliciously...
Keyshawn J. Will and Max, ESPN Radio, Sirius XM Channel 80. We're presented by Progressive Insurance. Now that Jokic has a chip, which player who doesn't have one, or maybe who already has one, needs one the most in the NBA? <clears throat> I'll tell you what, we were talking about Embiid and Tatum. Jay and I looked up ages, you know. In, in Embiid, 29, he Jason get Tatum, one. 25. See, Tatum's got a t- Tatum's Tatum and Luka are victims of their own precociousness. They were so good and had so much playoff success at such early ages. People are like checking their watches. Come on, guys, hurry up. Man, if it takes Tatum another three years to chip up, he's right on schedule. 28. That's still pretty young. But 29 for a big man? Embiid, I think I think the clock is ticking. He's got to get one while he's in his prime, while he's doing historically great things. I I I, I hear you on that, but it, it's also Embiid's game, and we'll see what Dick Nurse can actually come up because uh, I think tactically he is genius. There's there's no doubt about that. Nick Nurse, one of the best coaches in the league, to open up Joel Embiid's game, but it feels like Jokic has way more say and his involvement in the offense to kind of push that narrative more so than Joel Embiid needs, like, still, Jokic Jokic is a better passer Jamal than, Murray, too, he's, he's right? He's a better like, passer than Embiid. So, like, who's the sidekick for Joel Embiid? Like, is that Maxie. James Harden? Like, is it a young Maxi that you're waiting Maxie. to see come on the scene? Yeah. Like, who is it consistently? Right, whereas you look at Jason Tatum, like, you know who the sidekick is. Timing's he, not right. He, Maxie's a little young. Harden's a little old. I, I hear you. There's always some kind of injury for Joel Embiid. I hear what, what you say he needs it, but it always seems like the, the stars get in his way. He's not in a position. I agree with this. He's not in a great position to get it as some other guys. I'm just saying he would benefit tremendous. I don't, I don't think anyone would benefit more except maybe Damian Lillard, Key. Yeah, but I think, I think Embiid needs more out of Tatum and Embiid. And you go through the entire process. Oh, there he goes. You go through the beginning of a whole process situation, Jay. You think about it. You know, you, you from the time that he stepped in Philadelphia to where he is today, they've gone through two head coaches. Okay, now they're going through three. Yes, you could say, well, you know, James Harden, whatever the case is, he hadn't gotten out the second round. At least Tatum has gotten to a championship. He understands what the confetti – for the other team looks like he gets that and beats yeah, yet but- to be able to experience that. And he is supposed to be the guy Tatum doesn't have an MVP trophy and beat has one now. Yeah. Think about but- <laughs> the way David Robinson. Okay. David Robinson was a slightly better player than Patrick Ewing, but he's got two chips. He's in a different conversation, different conversation than Patrick Ewing, different conversation. Because he got the chips. Or, or think of – the reason I say Damian Lillard is think of point guards, right? We will not put – you said, like Stockton a lot of years was considered better than, than Isaiah Thomas. But we're not going to put him in the same category as Isaiah because Isaiah led a team to two. Stockton got zip even with Jordan out of the league, that, that even though he was on a really good team, right? It makes a big – there's a whole bunch of point guards who were amazing and never got a chip while they were in their primes. Maybe they glommed on to a team after their primes and got one not the same. Damian Lillard gets a chip. We start talking about him really in history as time goes by with guys like Steph and Isaiah and those guys. I agree with you on that. Can we go back to MB for a second, though? There is a big part of me that feels as if Philly has been one of the reasons why Joel Embiid has not gotten one, plus injuries. All right, so who did Philly choose over Jimmy Butler? Ben Simmons and Tobias Harris. How has that worked out, right? But Daryl Morey comes in, hey, James Harden, okay. They they get there, they have a chance, it, it, it poo-poos, it doesn't work. Joel Embiid gets injured last year, the facial injury. Like, And I'm looking at the Boston Celtics saying, okay, with Jason Tatum, your core has been together. Yes, Key. He's been to an NBA championship, but what happened in that NBA championship? You felt like they weren't ready yet. You felt like they shrunk, right? Like, and then coming into it this year, like they were the, one of the favorites. Like we were talking about them being there when it mattered the most. What did we see them do against a lesser Miami Heat team? We saw them lose, right? Even in the game seven, you felt like they were talented. They're not. So it feels like how many times can you knock on the door before? It's like you got to run through the door and get it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but, but at the yeah, same time, when you start talking about Tatum, though, Coach, he has time. Yes. Yeah, but it feels like it's. It feels like maybe he, has, he doesn't have time because they're no, about to blow it up. He's got. 
He's got time. His even career, if they, though. even if they, if, there you go, Max. Yeah. His career, even if they decide to hit the detonator, and it explodes. He can either stay there. They can move him somewhere else. He, you know what I'm saying? Well, Embiid, same with Joel Embiid. No, he's 29, I was and, he, say, and he's Embiid had a history of injuries, older. and he's a big. He's older. He's injury prone. He's a big. They may decide. You know, what if James Harden decides to go to Houston? Really, just say, you know what, I'm gone. Or think about this, Key, or Jay, Jay, take Tatum. Let's say he makes the finals, loses, gets knocked out in the second round, loses in the conference finals, those three years. Then the following year where you're, you're, you've had it up to here with him, you've got to win, he'll be Embiid's age right now. Like, he's got time. He's got runway. And his game is portable, wouldn't you say? He can defend. Obviously, he can score any which way. He's got a portable game, a big with a, with a back and knee history who got drafted third because of injury concern who's missed a lot of time who's also had freak injuries who's also by the way playing at historically great levels like Embiid he had just one of the greatest seasons ever if you look at the scoring per minute ridiculous plus he's a defender a seven footer wide body athletic I mean a championship for him would be legacy enhancing I don't think anyone in the game Maybe with the exception of Lillard, because he's really running out of time. I, I'm trying to think of who's even in their category, right? But, but Lillard, Lillard where, is that where the, were the catapult him and to, in your mind? Oh, immediately you're asking who's who deserves to be higher on the list, Embiid or David Robinson? He's ahead of Patrick Ewing, Alonzo Mourning, all those guys, and Embi- probably Embiid ahead of David Robinson, well, just like ta- that. Embiid or, or Olajuwon. Mm-hmm. Embiid or people are going to start looking at it like his game is modern so there's more of it and he's a two-way player and he's a real footer really seven feet at least right and he's done historically great things you look at the numbers ridiculous he's scoring more per minute than like anyone ever it's crazy i i think Jokic. remember i argued he's going to start to get in that top 12 to 15 argument with the chip i think i was right i think Embiid is going to be at least that if he chips up at least that which athlete in sports needs the title the most after Key has this from Vivid Seats? Here. Mm, okay, oh, hold on. Oh, okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, I look, man, first of all, they did the old switcheroo on me. Okay. Here at Keyshawn, J. Will, and of course, Max, we're fired up for the MLB season. It's underway. Lucky for you, our friends at Vivid Seats, the official ticketing partner of ESPN, have great deals on great seats with a huge selection of tickets to this year's hottest matchups. Experience every crack of the bat, every diving catch, every heart pounding play of your favorite team. That would be the Dodgers for me. Live in it, live it in person. Just vivid, vivid, just visit vividseats.com or download, be quiet, the app today, vividseats.com. Experience it live. <laughs> Greedy. The fact that one of the central pieces feels so much bitterness toward it, it is tragic to me. It makes me feel terribly sad for him. Weekday mornings at 10 Eastern on ESPN Radio. Find the top products and quantities you need when you need them. Lowe's Nose Pros. You know, foundation repair is an unregulated industry. Because of that, there is a lot of fly-by-nights in the industry. Well, if you want your foundation done right by a company who's been in business since 1978, you need to call Due West Foundation Repair. Yeah, you've heard of them, Due West Foundation Repair. When you want the best, you call Due West, 713-473-7156. You can also check out our website at du-west.com. In space, no one can hear you flush. Three, two, one. Commode mode is go. Wherever you go, Universal Plumbing Supply has the right toilet and plumbing products, including American Standard, Toto, and Upener. From contractors to do-it-yourselfers, Universal Plumbing Supply is ready to help out. Also providing heating and cooling products. Visit UniversalPlumbingSupplyHouston.com. Find top Father's Day gifts at great savings at Lowe's. Right now, get a Cobalt 24-volt brushless two-tool combo kit for just $149, was $199. And buy one 24-volt battery starter kit, get one select bear tool free. 
Lowe's knows Cobalt's tools are tough, reliable, and built to perform. Shop in-store or online today. Lowe's knows home improvement. Valve through 618. While supplies last, selection varies by location. Breathe in, breathe out. Get dressed, head out. Grab some friends, camp out. Get hiked up, vibe out. Take it in, let it all out. At REI Co-op, we're here for all the outs. And we want you to spend more time outside our doors and in them. Try it out, check out, then get out. REI Co-op, all out. Visit REI.com. It's Macy's Father's Day sale. Take an extra 25% off great gifts for every dad with your coupon or Macy's card. Or shop Father's Day specials like 40 to 50% off classic styles from IMC, Alfani, and more. 25 to 40% off activewear essentials from Adidas, Reebok, and more. And 40% off designer watches. Want more deals? Download the free Macy's app by saying, Alexa, open Macy's now. Savings off regular sale and clearance prices. Exclusions apply. DQ presents... How to get the most from your next DQ treat run. Step one, grab the new Oreo Brookie Blizzard. Step two, dig in. That's it, because this triple decker treat has brownie and cookie brookie pieces, plus Oreo pieces. Oh, that's a mouthful of DQ goodness in every red spoonful. <laughs> Guess it's time for a treat run, because the Oreo Brookie Blizzard is here for a limited time, only at DQ. Happy tastes good. Kelly Blue Book is the one-stop shop for pricing, fixing, selling, and instant cash offering. Instant cash offer is exactly what it sounds like. An official offer to buy or trade your car. Just enter your VIN or license plate. Answer a few questions about your car's history and what kind of condition it's in. In minutes, you'll receive an offer to sell or trade your car that you can be sure is fair. Then choose a dealer to purchase your car and schedule a time to meet. For all of the it's, kbb.com. You heard of Instacart? I use it to order same-day delivery for groceries, essentials. I even got my vacuum delivered. So I figured it's time to join Instacart Plus. Now I get unlimited free delivery on orders over 35 bucks, 5% credit back on pickup, and a family account. It lets me invite a loved one to shop together. I chose my husband. He always knows when we're out of milk. Try it yourself. Visit instacartplus.com for two weeks free. Get the best of Instacart with Instacart Plus. Credit back excludes alcohol. Family accounts subject to availability. Additional terms apply. Step into the world of hidden wonders, Natural Bridge Cavern's newest tour. As you journey deep into the earth, you'll discover new areas of this natural underground masterpiece. Inside, thousands of lights reveal stunning formations and a massive canyon with an incredible sound and light show finale. Then, at the end of your tour, you'll ride back to the surface on the bat, our belt-assisted transport. Visit naturalbridgecaverns.com today for tickets to your hidden wonders adventure. Do you know the number one question that fat guys will ask you when you lose a lot of weight? I can't say it because there's ladies listening, but you probably know what they ask if you can see things now. It's true. I don't care why you need to lose weight or what your reasoning is. You will lose weight with SodaWeightLoss.com. It is that simple. It works. It works. I mean, there's no other way around it. You can do this. You're going to lose it. You're going to keep it off. You're going to feel better. So to weightloss.com. Wireless headphones. That'll be $200. I'll use my Capital One Quicksilver card. Now, that. are going to make that dream a reality. A devotion to destiny. Misfits the champions. The Vegas Golden Knights win the Stanley Cup in 2023. That's how it sounded on Fox Sports 98.9 as the Golden Knights blew out the Florida Panthers 9-3 in Game 5 of the Stanley Cup Final to win their Series 4-1 and capture the first championship in franchise history. Meantime, Subway Series, Yankees at Mets, Giancarlo Stanton and DJ LeMahieu homered off Max Scherzer. And pinch hitter Josh Donaldson drove in a tie-breaking run with a sack fly in the sixth inning. Yankees, 7-6, come from behind, win over the Mets. 
pinch hitter Carlos Perez broke a tie with an RBI ground out in the eighth inning as the Oakland Athletics beat the Tampa Bay Rays 2-1 to one for their seventh straight win. In front of a spirited crowd at the Coliseum, the A's drew a season-high attendance of not even quite 28,000 as Oakland hand fans held a, quote, reverse boycott to protest the team's planned move to Vegas. Man, when the best you can do is not even 28,000. That's the reverse boycott. You're on a seven-game win streak. Yeah, that's the, the reason they're moving to Vegas. Sports Center presented by Progressive Insurance. Round out your protection with life, phone, and pet health insurance. G-Shock, J-Will, and Max. The Joker, I know okay. you basketball players, and you love his style, but he's a potato. I can't and the potato it. might be the, the, the worst thing without some on it. Bland. God forbid I'm great at the fundamentals of the game. Guys like he will call me a potato, but I'll be a damn NBA champion potato. I'll be the best potato there is. Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max, you can check us out not only on ESPN Radio and Sirius XM Channel 80, but the ESPN app. Click more on the lower right-hand corner of the app. Go down to live radio if you get to work and... We're on in the car. You got to go. In. Ah, I got it. You know, going to miss something. Just check us out on the app. Pop in those AirPods, earbuds, headphones, whatever you got. Take us with you. I mean, you see that, 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 uh, I don't know. What do you call it? You can't call it. A, what do you call it? What was that, Jay? A cold tub or whatever that was they dove into? Like cold, it like cold, cold plunge. plunge. Yeah. Yeah, cold plunge. Did you see when they fell in that thing? That thing like a boat, the water going back and forth. I was like, oh my God. Those big boys, he's like, that? he's like a giant potato just fell in a cold plunge. <laughs> See, that's that's what y'all not going to do, though, man. Y'all not fit to say it. I'll throw on ESPN, too. Look at it. Watch the water. Look at check that. Whoa. Uh, that that yeah. would have been the same if MB dropped in there. That would have been the same if LeBron course, dropped in there. He would have liked, the liked the way it looked better if MB did it. It would look yeah. more uh, it would, stylish. Be more athletic. Yeah, 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 more athletic, athletic, yeah. Yeah. He probably would have do- did a, do- a double somersault and backflip and landed <laughs> on his two feet, you know? Uh, hey, in Flo the in Atlanta. We heard you calling him a potato on the way in, Keith. Flo in Atlanta has something to tell you. What up, Hustle and Flo? What's going on, gentlemen? Y'all can hear me all right? Yeah. Got you, Flo. Got you. Hey, Keith. Here's the thing, my man. You know, Joker, he, you know, he wasn't born or whatever with all these skills. And all, you know, he don't want to go forward. He don't jump for you know, or whatever. But I think that makes him more of an athlete. Yeah, Flo, listen, listen, I we'd call, love call to talk back, to you, but Flo. Yeah, we can't call me you, back, Flo. man, because you, you got, can't you got something with You're that. on like the last payphone, Flo. You gotta you gotta Yeah, go go in the other closet and hide. That one <laughs> You gotta call <laughs> us back though, doggy. We we're here for you. And Flo I'm is calling from the past from a payphone. David man, in Pennsylvania, you're on KJM. I think Flo might be hiding from somebody. <laughs> yeah, he might be having to do it on the low. David. Hey, how's it going? KJM. I can't believe I'm on. Good morning, guys. Good morning. morning. Uh, and Flo is, Flo is cracking me up. So anyway, I'm from Southern Cal. I'm a Keyshawn fan. And Key, I hope this doesn't hurt, but I just really wish you would kind of walk it back. Mm-hmm. I mean, some of the other big guys in, in NBA history who are built like him, I don't think they've ever been called a potato. And this guy has two MVPs and an and a, and now a championship. It's insulting. And we know Jake, the list. Shut you guys, up. I've listened to you. Oh, you is that for me? Well, no, Jay, 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 Jay is just taking his run. Jay, no, Dave, that, he just told you to shut up, David. Well, you it's be quiet, just, Jay. Let the man finish. You're, you're <laughs> getting bad don't, habits. Don't yell at Don't interrupt him. Let David finish, please. You guys stop, David. David, David, do your deal. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. So anyway, Keith, all I'm saying is, man, I I, I don't want this to hurt you, dude. I really uh, don't. How's it gonna hurt you? Know, me? I know, no, you how's know, I'm it gonna not hurt trying me? to be your brother keeper, but no, tell, tell me, tell me how it's gonna hurt me by by me saying that his game is boring to me, like a potato is boring without putting sauce on it and or butter or garlic or whatever you do with your potato. How's it hurting me? Please explain, because it's it's, it's 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 the it's the reference to the potato, dude. Mm-hmm. You can take it. You can potato. take it. You can take it many different ways if you choose to do so. If that's yeah. if that's where your mind yeah. wants you to go, I don't worry about society in the way they view my interpretation of the way that I view his skill set. I never said he wasn't a good athlete. 
I never said he wasn't the most dominant player in the NBA. I never said he didn't deserve his two championships, his two MVPs in the championship. I didn't say any of those things. I simply said his style is boring to me. Yeah, so, he wasn't saying he's shaped so, like a potato. No, he's saying no, that a potato is a boring food, even though it's, it's a, a staple boring food. food. Exactly. You need something on it. Yeah, I'm exactly. saying he's shaped like a potato. That's like, you know, <laughs> no, I'm because not, I have I'm eyes. Not. You know, I, no, sorry, I, I'm not I would to say never de- yeah. I would never demean the man's body. In, wow. All, wow. You know, we can't wow. even describe people nowadays. Is everyone so sensitive? Jokic is the best player in the NBA. He's the best I've player said in the that NBA. already. Max, he's I don't need to continue to like, walk. I don't need to walk anything back. I'm I saying said what I said. Part of what's interesting about him are the pictures, and he's in much better shape nowadays, as you can see, are the pictures on social media from when he was a kid. He was a fat kid, and you look at him and you go, oh, wow, that turned out to be the best player in the world. That well, actually and, and, is a good thing. It's not a and, it's not no one's making fun of him. And, and on top of that, no, I'm making fun of him, and I'm see? making fun of him because he's boring. Okay, when you celebrate your championship and you go, you look at the, the champagne bottle, Jay, and you just look at it and go, eh. and then, then, then throw it away. I mean, yeah, well, well, hold on. Let me, re- let me rephrase. There, there, there's, there's a part of me that really likes the fact that all this cat wanted to do was get back home. Yeah. I, I, like, I, I never it's said like, that. I never it's said like, that was a problem. No, I, 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 never I didn't say you were. That. I'm making my never own point. That. I never said that you were, Key. I'm making my own independent point. The fact that he won it and they're like, when's the parade? And they're like Thursday. He's like, I got. I swear, I want to go home. <laughs> I, 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 I'm mean, like, cool. I, I rock I wanna, with that. I want to clean something up because, well, oh, you're. Not, I, I yes, I am making fun of him in a way. If you say, oh, he's shaped like a potato, you're making an observation that is meant to make light of something. But understand when you well, do that true, about Max, a dude in his prime on top of the world I, who just won championships. I, I, wait, I, I have to be able to finish the thought. Hold on. When, when, because, that's how I feel, Max. Because I, I, I don't care about how anyone else feels but me. Obviously. So, so when you do that, it's okay. He's powerful. It actually, it actually is a good example to kids who may be shaped like that, right? When, as kids, that's okay. When it's not as okay to make fun of someone is when they're powerless, when they're no good, and you're clowning them. So I don't think there's anything wrong with saying he, if Key feels his style is boring and it reminds him of a potato. Or, or if I say, yeah, he was shaped like a potato, that's okay. He's the best player in the world. So wait, wait, that made no sense. Okay, so, you're, so you're saying you can make, you don't make fun of somebody when they're powerless, but yes. when somebody has power, it's okay to make fun of them? So, sure. Yeah, no, you can make, it's not. You, you it's, can, not make, it's, it's, it's not. When, when somebody not wins a championship yeah. and somebody's deemed as the best player in the world mm-hmm. and People say that their body looks like a potato. You are making fun of them. Yeah, but, that's that's, a, that, that's but just, that gives hope. But just, wait, Jay, but, that's an example that disproves a stereotype or even if you want to call it a stereotype, a, a, a commonly held perception that may often be true, that someone who looks a certain way can't do a certain thing. You when see, someone who so does Jay, disproves you, it, you that's You saying good that does, but you saying that somebody's body looks like a potato, that is making fun of somebody. That's okay. That's cool. Just... Call for where it is. Just that, own it. You know, we're in the when we talking but, trash and talk trash but, and own that, it. Don't try to justify okay. it. Look, I'm not, okay. I, I didn't. First of all, I didn't call this body. I didn't say you, Dick. No, no, I'm talking. just. You said his I'm, game. You said his game. His game. It, it, but I think people bland. interpret it. Well, people are. They, I can't, Max. Again, you know me. I can give two dams about the way people interpret. Listen to the damn show. Pay attention. Don't catch a snippet. Okay. Enough of that. At the end of the day, he is one hell of a player. And if you don't want his body to look like a potato, then that's fine. That's what Max says. Max is making light of it. It's okay. If you say somebody's soft, their body looks like a sponge. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like, come on. No, Where I, are we at now? Furthermore, I think that when people oh, show God, that no. picture, wait, that wait a minute. <laughs> there are a first lot time of kids. I saw this picture. There are a I've lot of kids that look before. like that who look at Jokic and go, oh, damn, that dude turned out to be one day the best player in the world. That's a good thing. Well, I look like that now, so, and I'm not a kid. <laughs> yeah. See see how I did that, Jay? You know, now you smile. Look at you. I see you all in smiling ear to ear. Is I'm, it ear I'm, to ear I'm, I'm kicking it. Y'all, y'all got it. Trotsky in Alabama. What do you got? Trotsky's back, huh? Hey, hey, fellas, fellas. Hey, Key, quick question. Yo, I know up, you baby? I know you're a diehard Lakers fan. Now the year that magic, uh, you know, the tragic magic year when he choked, if he didn't come back the next year and redeem himself, would that have uh, affected his legacy in your eyes? The year that he was called Tragic, tragic magic, magic and he came back, would he and he didn't redeem himself would it have affected 
if he had continued down tragic magic course, then yeah, but he didn't. So he didn't. Is the question do is is the question what athletes are you asking if athletes don't accomplish as many good things, they won't be remembered as fondly? Yes, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. Yeah. Yeah. I said that. The yeah, more exactly. great things you do, magic, the greater you're the more magic, fondly you're remembered. Magic won championship after championship, MVP after MVP he was in the running every single year. But if that never took place, magic wouldn't be magic. Yeah, he'd have been an incredible rookie who he would have been like a great quite, rookie who yeah. jumped center, and that's all we talk about. And he'd have won a championship, and that was it. And we're like, oh, is but there a new Levar Ball in town, or is this something different that's coming up? KJM, Keyshawn, J Will, and Max Wayne Why? in Philly. You're on with Keyshawn, J Will, and Max. Good morning, guys. How y'all doing this morning? Wayne, where are you in the bathroom? Wayne, like Wayne you, you in the bathroom? Where are you at? I'm at work right now, and yes, I am in the bathroom. More Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max next. The Jack FM guarantee at least one stinker in every bunch of songs. Tip. Just search Jack FM on TuneIn to listen. It's been. Jack FM, playing what we want. We're an Instacart family. Oh my goodness, we saved so much time with same-day grocery delivery. So we joined Instacart Plus. And now we're saving more money. We get unlimited free delivery on orders over $35. 5% credit back on pickup. And a family account to shop together. Did you know members save $460 a year when they order at least once a week? I do now. See how much you'll save. Visit instacartplus.com for two weeks free. Average savings exclude membership fee. Individual savings may vary. Credit back excludes alcohol. Paid membership auto renews. Additional terms apply. Have you been waiting to buy a car until interest rates go down? I'm Harrison Jones with Volkswagen of Clear Lake. With our rate cut sale, now there's no reason to wait. Get 3.9% for five years at Volkswagen Clear Lake on any new car. And we have as low as 1.9 on used cars. Get the car you really want, like the Jetta, Tiguan, Taos, Atlas, or ID4 EV. Volkswagen Clear Lake is the number one Volkswagen dealership in Texas. Visit us at VWofClearLake.com. 2022 VW rankings, financing through VCI on select models, OAC, see dealer for details. You can depend on a Mueller metal roof. We were fortunate enough to be able to build a house on family land, and we've really enjoyed being out here. We couldn't ask for a better place to raise our boys. Our home builder, I don't believe, had ever had an experience with working with Mueller and had nothing but great things to say about the company, about the process. Everybody was professional. If anybody mentions the word metal, we say we know a guy and give them the phone number to Mueller. Find out more at MuellerINC.com. Wireless headphones. That'll be $200. I'll use my Capital One Quicksilver card. Now that's a hit. You used the Capital One Quicksilver card, which makes you the hero of every purchase. With Quicksilver, you earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase everywhere. I wanted running music, but unlimited 1.5% cash back is pretty heroic. Good instincts. Every hero needs a theme song. The Capital One Quicksilver card. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. When you stay at a Verbo, you always get the whole home. The whole upstairs, the whole downstairs, and the whole nap room. Only whole vacation homes. Always all yours. Book on the Verbo app. This far into rush hour traffic, most people would have rage accelerated at least once. But not you, Lacey, no hard accelerations ever, Johnson. Because you are a safe driver. And like most drivers who sign up for Snapshot from Progressive, which customizes your rate for how and how much you drive, you could earn a discount for your good driving. So if your hula dancing dashboard doll thinks you're going to hard accelerate because you're running... Oh, I see what I see what Pat's doing. He's taking a page out of Oh Insane in the Membrane. That's a Yates move right there. He's foreshadowing. He's anticipating the subject matter. No, Yates left a list for him. Oh, I see. Okay. Button push one, two, three, play this, this, this at this time. Gotcha, because there's some insane stuff going on out there. KJM presented by Progressive Insurance. So Guys, baby Gronk is a thing. 
I have recently become aware of this. But should people be encouraging it? Jay, can you explain what Baby Gronk is? Yeah, so Baby Gronk is uh, is a, a 10-year-old who's in fourth grade. His name is Madden San Miguel, who is an influencer from the Dallas area who's gone viral for youth football highlights, right? And also for act, uh, interacting with celebrities like Olivia Dunn, Nick Saban, Shaq, people like that. Oh, his, that's what's up. Yeah, his father, Jake San Miguel, has been pretty candid about how he has been strategically marketing his son. And the thing that brought up this for me yesterday was watching him on a podcast. I had some pretty passionate feelings about, uh, you know, his son, obviously 10 years old, was answering questions from a podcaster, but his father was essentially like ghostwriting his responses for him in real time. So, uh, Max, like you asked me a question like, hey, you know, how does it feel to be the top fourth grader, you know, in the world, right? And the kid would be like, good. And the, and the dad would be like, Jake, like, well, no, no. Um, and he would put his hand over the mic, like, actually say this. And then he'd like, ask him again. And then the podcast would ask him the question again. Presumably the first response wouldn't make it to the podcast, but the second response would, right? Exactly. But the, the guy asked him questions like, um, you know, like, you know, what, what kind of things are you doing to get your body ready? And he'd be like, oh, I'm working out. And the dad would be like, no, say you're, you, you know, cover the mic. Say you're getting the, the crazy massages by some of the, the baddest ones in the world, like the baddies. You know, and then the kid will give these responses. And it just feels like for me, frankly, I, I get so how wait, you're on, trying on, to man. position. Hold on, Key. I get why you're trying to position him to market himself as the number one fourth grader in the world, right, for football. And I get how the highlights and all that. But like, why are you putting so much pressure on a 10-year-old And also kid? giving him outrageous things to say, wait, which is on. a... I just want to clarify, Jay, what you just said. He covers the microphone and he tells him that's not the right answer to talk about he's getting massages or whatever the case is. Massages may be. from baddies, Key. And he's to a ten year old little boy. Ten year old little boy. And you're watching this you're watching this little kid in real time. Just YouTube it. YouTube baby Gronk. It's all over the place. No, I I, I and, saw some of it, but I didn't get to that part of it. But Key, like my the point I don't, I don't it's understand like, what we're what trying. It is. Like, what world we're in? So Look, I, I get you're going to make a brand on social media. I understand that, but by putting this type of pressure on this ten year old little kid, yeah, who has no idea who he is or what he's trying to become, he's being yeah. told by his father. Mm. Like that's where you see pressure that forces kids, <clears throat> like that yeah. forces that forces pipes to burst. Yeah, no, Max is old enough to remember. You are too, Jay, but you probably were so young you don't remember. And Max followed, you know, did the whole sports thing in the mirror for years. He remembers, <laughs> he remembers Todd Marinovich. Of course. And, and Todd Marinovich was groomed by Barb Marinovich, his dad, quarterback, first round pick of the Raiders, played at USC, highly touted, right, Jay? Since he was a kid, never had a hamburger, never had McDonald's, didn't even know what Fred tried, that, nothing, zero. He was. He was drinking protein shakes before we even knew anything about a protein shake in society. It completely ruined not only his career, but his psyche mentally to the point where he just it, it spiraled out of control. Now, this sounds a little deeper to me than the Mar Marinovich situation with Todd way back when. The fact that you're saying to me, which I, I believe, is that he's telling him not only to try to be a star in football, but also be a social media star at 10 years old, but also talking about adult-type things, like he's living vicariously through his son. This isn't a LeVar Ball situation at all. Hell, he doesn't even know what the dude can play. Hey, Key, you know what, you know what I think is the difference here, why we're in 2.0 of the Marinovich situation, or LeVar Ball? LeVar Ball is outrageous. His kids are not. Lonzo Ball says all the right things, plays the game the right way, winning player when he's healthy, right? His father's outrageous. He didn't make Lonzo be outrageous. Lonzo's his own personality. But even his dad, but even his dad, though, Max, his dad just says stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can I go, it. what he said, you just push But that's what, but this is what I think has happened. This is what I think we're seeing now, which is new, is that the father, and this is, I think, as a result of social media coarsening public discourse right meaning making it making making public uh interaction ruder basically 
is is the coarsening of public discourse through social media means the father sitting there going, okay, part of this business is not just how well he plays, it's how much, as you said, he's an influencer, how many people he can reach. In order to cut through the clutter, this the 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 act has to be that this little boy is saying grown up things. It's being outrageous, right? And the father's actually coaching that part key, not just the on the field stuff, maybe being overbearing or living vicariously that way, but actively coaching a kind of a crude uh, a, a point of view from his yeah. son that his son doesn't genuinely but, even have. But what's the end game? Because because certainly if he's supposed to be Gronk and be a football player, the best fourth grader and all that, that's going to burn out. That, 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 that's going to, I could, I could, and Jay, we both can promise you as athletes, that part of the game is going to burn out. Now, what's the end game though? Do you think it's going to continue on social media? It's funny. Do you think you, you, you are monetizing? Yeah. He's going to monetize it by, by maneuvering with his celebrity. If you can blow up enough and go viral enough, you get a certain level of celebrity and Jay, um, you know, better than I do. I'm sure how to monetize that. Well, I mean, that's what he wants. Obviously working with brands, obviously creating content, branded content. Like that's what he wants to do. So, I mean, he's trying to make, he's using his daddy. So he's he's daddy's using, I mean, yeah, his daddy's using his son to get to the level economically so they could do whatever make money or whatever so it's really not about him being a sport in sports it's about him trying to be in the social media world yeah i mean but you know I, I, he's not the only one <laughs> there are influencers out there that have been doing stuff like this for a while now teenagers i mean it, it's but it's coached just, by their parents so obviously i mean this is different because we literally you, have I video of you, the Max father coached do- by the parent yeah See, that's sick to me, though, man. To be to be as outrageous as possible in order to attract, uh, to go viral. But, but yes. Like, yeah, that, a lot, that but by me. the way, guys, yes, there are parents that teach their kids no, how to go viral. It's just not caught on camera. No, I, Like, this I, I one on Bring the Juice it's podcast just, was caught on camera. By the way, what, I mean, listen, I, I don't like the kind of, how would you say, the adultifying, <laughs> however you want to say. You see this in beauty pageants with little kids and stuff like that. All that stuff, to me, anytime I see the adult forcing the child to behave as though they are adult, is it's difficult to watch. And the key to the crazy part, the kid's actually pretty good at football. Like, why, I watched a YouTube video of him last night. Like, I'm like, okay, like, the kid actually has great feet. Like has quick hands, yeah. has you know, key. You like if you watch it, you'll be blown away. You just wonder if all this extra stuff gets in the way of how good he is at football. And then, of course, if there is a payoff at the end, the father will feel justified. It was an ends to a means. Does that make it right, though? That's a, that's a philosophical question. Eight eight eight. Say ESPN seven two nine three seven seven six. Stefan Diggs news coming up. Do you run a business or are you an independent contractor? Harris County Public Health is looking for contractors who can perform lead poisoning and nuisance abatements such as grass cutting, debris or trash removal, or simple exterior home repair. If you own or work for a construction, landscaping, repair, or abatement company, we'd love to partner with you. Visit purchasing.harriscountytx.gov or call 713-274-4400 for information on how to do business with us. The 70s was an interesting time in Houston because there was a growth, an explosion of Houston banks with Houston personalities, with Houston growth on its mind. And then that went away for the big national banks to take over. Gulf Capital Bank feels like a bank the way it used to be, invested in Houston, 250 local Houston families. When Ed Jones and his team started this bank, it was the largest capital raise in Texas history for a new bank. You want your banker to know your name? GulfCapitalBank.com. Member FDIC. Lowe's knows the best deals for dad. That's why this Father's Day, you can shop our best gifts from the brands he loves, like Craftsman for less. Right now, get a V20 drill or impact driver kit for just $69. And save $50 on a V20 string trimmer and blower combo kit, now only $99. Shop Father's Day deals today, in-store and online. Lowe's knows dads. Lowe's knows home improvement. Valve to 614, while supplies last. Selection varies by location. Whether you're doing a dance to your favorite artist in the office parking lot or being guided into Warrior One in the break room before your shift, whether you're running on your Peloton tread at your mom's house while she watches the baby 
or counting your breaths on the subway. Inhaling and long exhaling. Peloton is for all of us, wherever we are, whenever we need it. Download the free Peloton app today. Peloton app available through free tier or paid subscription starting at $12.99 per month. Breathe in, breathe out. Get dressed, head out. Grab some friends, camp out. Get hiked up, vibe out. Take it in, let it all out. At REI Co-op, we're here for all the outs. And we want you to spend more time outside our doors and in them. Try it out, check out, then get out. REI Co-op, all out. Visit REI.com. Cookie wants to be a professional wrestler. I'm Cookie Serratos and I'm 11 years old. She also wants to win all the medals. That's why Cookie and her family make every day count, squeezing out her best with Go Go Squeeze. Okay, Cookie, let's break for a Go Go Squeeze. Go Go Squeeze fruit on the go pouches are a nutritious snack made from 100% fruit with no sugar added. Go Cookie! Because when you nurture your kids, you squeeze out the best in them. Squeeze out the best with Go Go Squeeze. Not a low calorie food. Products range from 11 to 13 grams of sugar and 60 to 70 calories per serving. Find top Father's Day gifts at great savings at Lowe's. Right now, get a Cobalt 24-volt brushless two-tool combo kit for just $149. Was $199. And buy one 24-volt battery starter kit. Get one select bear tool free. Lowe's knows Cobalt's tools are tough, reliable, and built to perform. Shop in-store or online today. Lowe's knows home improvement. Valve through 618. While supplies last, selection varies by location. Learn to make money five ways with rental real estate. Double your money with apartments and get your map to financial freedom. And that map starts with a free workshop. Sign up now at lifestylesunlimited.com. Click on the Join Free Workshop tab and attend online or in person. That's lifestylesunlimited.com. Lifestylesunlimited.com. Again, that's lifestylesunlimited.com. Limited seating, unlimited potential. Hey, it's Matt Thomas here to tell you about Woodhouse Day Spas, the place to go to get rejuvenated, to get refreshed, and to feel alive with 70 different spa services in three Houston area locations. Go to woodhousespas.com to find the location nearest you. Over 70 different spa services like manicures, pedicures, deep tissue massages, and sleep treatments. For the gift of relaxation that works 365, it's woodhousespas.com. That's woodhousespas.com. As a major research institution, Arizona State University offers the most online bachelor's degree programs, along with world-class faculty and dedicated support. Discover why ASU is ranked number one in innovation for eight consecutive years. Tap to learn more. This is the only job that I've ever wanted in the entire world. The snap. Josh going to throw it. Everybody's looking at you. As all day long to scan the field. I'm just thankful that I ended up here in Buffalo. Valley's pressure gets away from it. Fires Everything that I've ever wished for is here. Into the end zone and it is caught. It's a Buffalo touchdown. Turn it up. It's got it. Into the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. Are you kidding me? Let's go get a dub. Win on three. One, two, three. Two, three. Keyshawn, Jay, Will, and Max were presented by Progressive Insurance. You can hear us, of course, on ESPN Radio and Sirius XM Channel 80. You can get us on your smart speaker, say, play ESPN Radio. And by the way, if you've missed any of the show so far, the first hour of the show, you can download the podcast. Man, Brooklyn is nice. Yeah, beautiful day in New York. Dan Graziano and an ESPN NFL insider, of course, with us. What's going on, Dan? What's up, DG? Hi, guys. How What's up, Danny? Doing great. How are you guys doing? Smoke fired up air from the wildfires yeah. and you're pumped this morning, huh? Oh yeah. Dan's Energized. ready to go. I'm ready to go. Why wouldn't I be? Okay. What, why does everybody seem surprised? No, we're just, no, no. We're, I, just, I, I like it. <laughs> I like the adrenaline rush. Let's go. <laughs> what do we got? What are we talking what, about? You want to do some I feel like we're wasting time. Let's hot go, news, Matt. Hot Let's news. do it. Hot news or not news. I'm in. Here we go. Hot news or not news is brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. Make every moment more. Dan Graziano, Stefan Diggs showed up. But didn't show up to mini camp. Mm. Hot news or not news? This is hot news. Stefan Diggs is upset about what? We're not exactly sure. But uh, there is some issue r- between him and the team. You could tell from Sean McDermott's comments and Josh Allen's comments yesterday that there's something they have to work through. Uh, there's some optimism in Buffalo that they will be able to work through it. And frankly, there aren't a lot of other solutions. They can't really trade him uh, based on his contract. But 
hot news that there are issues between a star receiver, Stephon Diggs, and the Bills. Well, you're speaking of receiver. You know, yes. I speak wide receiver, Dan, very well. <laughs> I'm fluent in every you wrote area. some of the dictionary, in fact. <laughs> That's, that is correct. This smells like bad communication to me, Dan. Yeah. The end of last season, things didn't go so well with implementing him into the offense with Ken Dorsey. So, you know, it was one of those deals where it's like, we love you, man. We, you know, it's my fault. It's my fault, Stefan. We're gonna, we're gonna change. We, we know we got to get you to football. We know we got to do these sort of things. You're the guy. We're gonna bring in some help and lift the coverage. All of those things. He get back this off season. He's like, well, wait a minute, man. Y'all told me in January you were gonna do this, 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 and this. But here we are doing the same things. I, I don't want to deal with this. I dealt with this in Minnesota. Y'all better fix this. That's what he's saying. I, I can almost guarantee you that without knowing, because again, I do speak wide receiver. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm with you both. I mean, the actual quote that Josh Allen said, internally, we're working on some things, not football related. Steph, he's my guy. I blanking love him. He's a brother of mine. This does not, this does not work what we're doing here without him. Mm. That's uh, hot that's news. Hot news. Quarterbacks got quarterback his back. Quarterback talks but, about but, your but, wide and, receiver and, that and way. Real quick before you hot move news. on, Max. Go. Real quick before you move on, Dan. Yeah. Mini camp, correct? Yeah. So he's going to be fined. Yes. A significant uh -oh. amount of money yes. because it's it's mini camp. Mandatory. Mandatory. And if those fines don't always help, you know, relationships between players Interesting. and teams. See what he's right. doing the old Columbo. He's going to be like, right when we think we're going to move on, he's going to say, uh, one more thing. One more he's going to well because uh, because yeah, mini camp. I just I was thinking about that that money. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is scorching hot news. Are we kidding? Every year they're supposed to win the Super Bowl. This oh, is one yeah. of the best tandems you ever want to see. They're incredible together. The receivers got paid. It's not about the money, and he's not in many – oh, oh. DeAndre Hopkins will visit the Patriots. Hot news or not news, Dan Grazia? Well, I think it's hot news. I mean, I, I think he would be a, a, a big addition for them at a position where, that, I, frankly, they need some help. They need some star power. They need somebody like him that can be – relied upon to produce i mean they have a lot of question marks at that wide receiver position so i think it's hot news especially if they sign him damn you dan it's hot news and you are one of the best investigative reporter types that we have at espn and in sports in general but you bury the lead you know how no. bill o'brien yeah. And DeAndre Hopkins? Yeah. Together again? Yeah. After the messy divorce in Houston? That's an you issue. You damn right it's hot news. Yeah. This this tells me that Bill Belichick really needs a wide receiver to the point that he is now going to bring in a guy who torched Bill uh, uh, O'Brien when he yeah. left the building in Houston. Right, Dan? Yeah. He, they, oh, this is going to be something to watch. They're gonna be some, there have to be some smoothing over that yes. has to happen if uh, if they are to pull this off. I don't think that's news at all because I don't see D-Hop going to the Pats. Where's he going to go? I mean, Tennessee. Keep looking at, I'd rather go to Tennessee than go with Pats yeah. and then deal back with Bill O'Brien and then also look at Mac Jones. I'll tell well, you why, what, Bill O'Brien in Houston was the GM and the head coach. As a head coach, he was pretty good to yes. DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins had a lot of production. As the GM, uh, he didn't want to pay him, and he traded him, and I think that's where the bad blood was. So can Hopkins put that aside and play for him? We'll see. Traded him without consulting his quarterback, by the way, Deshaun oh, yeah. Watson. And, 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 trading, and, and trading, he got fired for all of it. Yeah. And got and a terrible traded return. He, think about it. He traded him for a bag of nickels, some potato chips, and Skittles. Yeah, everyone knows you trade a t an elite run, uh, an elite wide out in his prime that has great chemistry with an elite quarterback for a running back. That always goes really well. Hey, um, yeah. this is hot news. But you know what I think the hottest news about it is? That his market isn't that hot. Yeah. DeAndre Hopkins' market is limited. Is I, I don't know what it is. I guess I had – I mean, I don't – when am I watching Arizona on red zone, if they're in the red zone? So I don't know. But I, he looks pretty good to me whenever I've seen him recently. I think he still looks pretty good, but apparently the league doesn't. Yeah. I'd love him on the Giants. Cleveland? Yeah, I, I think there's. I think there has been some interest from Cleveland, but he's not currently scheduled to visit them. And he visited Tennessee, and he's visiting New England. So we have to list them as the two most interested teams since he's actually, you know, been in their buildings or going to be in their buildings. Odell Beckham yeah. Jr. is on the practice field. Hot news or not news? Dan? I think it's hot news because yeah. this guy's coming off major injury, didn't play last year, and 
I, I think the fact that he's able to be out there practicing in June is very encouraging for his prospects and therefore Lamar Jackson's. Hot news, everything Dan just said. I'll back it right up 100%. Same for me. Exactly. Odell Beckham Jr. and Lamar Jackson. We asked this on this just in yesterday, 2 p.m. Eastern ESPN. Uh, uh, most intriguing, I asked Teddy Bruschi, new quarterback-receiver combination, a tandem. And he mentioned Rodgers and Wilson, and I get it. But to yeah. me, intriguing is this. What does Odell Beckham have left? Can he stay healthy? That's number one. Is he most of the guy who's on his way to winning MVP of the Super Bowl? And then two is, if he is that, what can Lamar Jackson be with a receiver like that? I can't wait to see this. Texans head coach D'Amico Ryan says there will be an open quarterback competition going into training camp. Hot news or not news? It's not news because that's what they always say in this situation. (laughs) Fact is, if C.J. Stroud can handle it, he's going to be the guy. Exactly. (laughs) Uh, Not news. I I hate to do this again, Dan, but I echo everything you just said. When you draft a guy, no matter what the quarterback situation or position situation, it's always, yeah, it's going to be a competition to us, not a competition. It won't be a competition as they enter into the regular season, C.J. Stroud will probably most likely be the starter, depending on how they feel about where the team is in terms of protecting their quarterback. Well, well kid, the latter part is exactly the part, right? Like, you know, give a guy enough time to actually get acclimated to the league instead of throwing him to the wolves right away. But if C.J. Stroud, C- C. Stroud <laughs> is C.J. Stroud, if C.J. Stroud is ready to go, then he'll go. Yeah, this is actually Davis Mills in this situation is a little dangerous because he's just good enough to delay a guy who's still learning from playing, but you want the young guy to play. So, no, I don't believe it's an actual. Look, it may be a competition, but the winner of the competition may not actually be the guy who starts. Let's put it that way early on. Vikings wide receiver Justin Jefferson pledged to be at training camp whether or not he's got a new deal. Hot news or not news, Dan Gross. I mean, I'll defer to the guy that speaks wide receiver, but to me this is like room temperature news, right? Like, like it, it, I would lean toward not news because I don't think there's any chance the Vikings aren't going to sign Justin Jefferson. I think you and I could do the deal right now. It, it's obvious what it's going to be, uh, and, and I'm sure Justin Jefferson knows that too, so I don't think there's an issue here. Not not news at all. We're we're waiting on a couple guys, guy like T. Higgins. What are yeah. they gonna do with him? So, it, I got I don't know what it was that they picked up the fifth year option. What is it, twenty something million? So I'm okay. I'm good. I know I'm protected. Yeah. I don't want to be a distraction. But there's a couple guys. Yeah. That they're working on new deals with. Let's see where they come C. in. at. Lamb. Yeah. C. Yeah, D. Yeah, Lamb. Yeah, all yeah. That. yeah. And I'm good, man. I'm just gonna stand on the sidelines for a couple weeks. Yeah. Not news. I mean, you have to have security to show up to training camp without a deal, just to know everything's gonna be fine. I'll be fine. He'll be all right. Not news. And and. He's a great receiver, and he's entering his prime. And Everybody knows what time it is. Everyone knows what time it is, exactly. Saquon Barkley isn't happy about how his contract negotiations have played out. Hot news or not news, Dan Graziano? It's hot news because it's an unresolved issue for the Giants. Like They have to figure out how they can keep this guy happy. Are they going to continue to play hardball and say, look, we're good with you playing on the franchise tag. If you want to sit out, that's your business. We'll figure something else out. Uh, but I don't think that's the right way to go vis-a-vis their locker room, uh, vis-a-vis their team ownership. I think they have to get something figured out with this guy. Again, hot news following Dan, everything he said, and then some, you got to figure it out with Saquon Barkley. He is the key to your offense. Don't get delusional and think Daniel Jones is the reason that you got to the playoffs and had a playoff win. Don't get delusional at all because Saquon Barkley was the main reason your offense was successful. It was not Daniel Jones. So if you alienate him, a well-liked guy within that locker room, you're getting ready to alienate this entire team, both on the defensive side and the offensive side. And I believe some people on the coaching staff will feel the same way. So, Key, I agree with what you said full-heartedly. Dan, I will ask you, aren't they trying to franchise tag the wrong guy? Shouldn't they have franchise tag Daniel Jones? Yes, but uh, if they had franchised Daniel Jones, Saquon would have been a free agent. He can only franchise one guy. So they wouldn't. They, so signing Jones and franchising Saquon was the way to keep both. So Saquon Barkley is has done everything they've asked. He, oh, he doesn't run between the tackles. He runs between the tackles. He doesn't block and protect. Yes, he does. Now he does. He does everything. Plus, he catches passes, which he's always done. Mm-hmm. But more than that, and the reason they got to pay him, he's not being unreasonable. And as a franchise, you cannot send the signal that, hey, we're going to ask you to run through all the brick walls, and then when you do, you're never going to get rewarded. They're going to have to come to a compromise. I'll also say this. 
there is no one in the NFL better at turning something, turning, go, turning nothing into something. He can turn, there's no gain here. This is a tackle for a loss into, oh my God, he broke off 40 yards. He, uh, you got to pay this guy. It doesn't have to pay him at the top of the market, but you got, he has some leverage here. It's not like he has none. All right. That's Dan Graziano, ladies and gentlemen. Way to bring the energy, Dan. That's right. I see you. Hot news. Hey, Key <laughs> speaks, not only speaks receiver fluently and as a first language, but actually contributed many or much to the actual dictionary of receiver. So he's going to interpret some stuff and explain what's really going on in Buffalo with Stephon Diggs, KJM. Steph is not here. How concerned are you about that? Oh, very concerned. So clearly something is wrong in Buffalo. I think it's something else that's bothering Stephon Diggs that I feel like the Bills organization needs to address so they can move forward. More Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max next. Ah, bush light. Cold and smooth as a mountain stream and has the same great taste it's always had. Even the same sound. Listen to this. Bush. How nice is that? The sound of refreshment. An American-style lager crafted to deliver the rewarding finish we've all come to know and love. So let's head to the beach of the mountains and crack one open today. Refreshing, cold, and smooth Bush Light. Enjoy responsibly. 2023 Anheuser-Busch Bush Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Dealing with the summer heat means making good decisions about the system that is your home. Air conditioning, windows, keeping the doors closed. It means making sure your attic has proper insulation. If that heat gets in there and gets it presses down, you can't cool your home no matter how well your AC unit is working. Building Specialties Insulation. Buildingspecialties.com. 713-939-1115. 713-939-1115. Lowe's knows the best deals for dad. That's why this Father's Day, you can shop our best gifts from the brands he loves, like Craftsman for less. Right now, get a V20 drill or impact driver kit for just $69. And save $50 on a V20 string trimmer and blower combo kit. Now only $99. Shop Father's Day deals today, in-store and online. Lowe's knows dads. Lowe's knows home improvement. Valve through 614, while supplies last. Selection varies by location. Wireless headphones. That'll be $200. I'll use my Capital One Quicksilver card. Now that's a hit. You used the Capital One Quicksilver card, which makes you the hero of every purchase. With Quicksilver, you earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase everywhere. I wanted running music, but unlimited 1.5% cash back is pretty heroic. Good instincts. Every hero needs a theme song. The Capital One Quicksilver card. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. Office Depot Office Max has great deals on everything you need to succeed, like stylish furniture and chairs to keep you working comfortably, the latest tech to keep you organized and productive, calendars and planners to keep you on schedule, and cleaning supplies to keep your space spotless. It's the perfect time to stock up on the supplies you need to succeed from the office to your home and everywhere in between. Need it fast? No problem. Place your order at officedepot.com and pick it up in just 20 minutes at your nearest Office Depot or Office Max store. Whether you're doing a dance to your favorite artist in the office parking lot or being guided into Warrior One in the break room before your shift, whether you're running on your Peloton tread at your mom's house while she watches the baby or counting your breaths on the subway, inhaling and long exhaling. Peloton is for all of us, wherever we are, whenever we need it. Download the free Peloton app today. Peloton app available through free tier or paid subscription starting at $12.99 per month. Every journey can use an experienced guide, and your educational journey is no different. Steph is not here. Everybody else is here at the front time. Oh, very concerned. There's been a lot of speculation about Stefan Diggs being unhappy in Buffalo for weeks and maybe even months now. And all along, people have denied it. And Josh Allen said that they're working through some issues. So clearly, something is wrong in Buffalo. I think there's something else that's bothering Stefan Diggs that I feel like the Bills organization needs to address so they can move forward. <laughs> John J. Will and Max, ESPN Radio, Sirius XM, Channel 80, J. 
check us out on ESPN2 until 8 a.m. On ESPNU until 10 a.m. So what's going on in Buffalo? The Buffalo Bills and Stephon Diggs' agent, Disa Bakari, who spoke with ESPN's Adam Schefter, said that Diggs was in the building Monday and was present Tuesday morning. Bakari said that Diggs took his physical, met with McDermott and general manager Brandon Bean over the past two days, and, quote, mm. will be there for the entirety of minicamp, end quote. Per the Bills, Diggs left the facility before Tuesday's practice. He was not present for any portion of the team's practice on the outdoor field at the facility. But this is really what put this on my radar. Like, oh, wait a minute. Because a lot of times, you know, there, people have worked stuff out behind. You don't know what the story is. Maybe he had, you know, whatever. Maybe the team was aware and it's okay. But when Sean McDermott, the Bills head coach, said, you're going to hear the question and listen to this response. That's when I was like, huh? Wait a minute. Listen to this. Steph is not here. Everybody else is here at the current time. How concerned are you about that? Oh, very concerned. Yeah, very concerned. I'm not going to get into And listen, I respect everyone's everyone's questions and what they want to know about our team right now. I'm just I'm not going to get into into that anymore. So we'll talk about practice. Happy to do that. Happy to answer those questions. And we'll move forward from there. Ooh, key. Really very concerned. How you said say very concerned, but now we're not going to talk about it. That's addressed. Woo. Now we're moving on. <laughs> what do you think? He well, it's not money because he's one of the highest paid receivers. He just did a deal, I don't know, last year. So that's not the issue. I think there's there's some communication issues that there's some communication breakdown. Um in Stefan Diggs. Whenever you go talk to the coach and the general manager, it's most likely you are not on the same page with the offensive coordinator and you feel a certain way about the game situation, game plans, uh, what the playbook looked like, what they told you when the season was over, you know, what they told you during the off season. And then you come back and you look up stuff or you have a certain conversation with guys and they telling you, they talking off both sides of their, their mouth. It becomes a bit of an issue. 